Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today. Today, we have a new challenge to all the Muhammadan in the world. Who is a Muslim can prove to us that Muhammad is a man who have a prophecy? How we can say that Muhammad is a prophet if he always prophesy false prophecy? How he got his title, the prophet of Allah? Regardless of knowing who is Allah for now, but yet the Muslims cannot provide us anything about their God. But not only that, they have a prophet. He have no prophecy. Actually, to be honest with you, he have. But all his prophecies are proven to be false. With no exception. And today's challenge is no exception than all our challenges before. And be my witness. Let us see if any Muhammadan, he can provide us with anything. If you are a Muhammadan, feel free to call me and let everybody see who is Muhammad. In the front of me, I have an image of the three monkeys, which is a very famous one. But this monkey image remind me of the story of Muhammad specifically. Muhammad, he did not hear his God. He did not see his God. He did not talk to his God. <laughs> Uh, now I hope the monkeys are not going to be upset from me. I mean no insult, but this is the fact. Isn't it true that Muhammad did not hear his God? He did not see his God? He did not speak to his God? So how in the world this man became a prophet of that God? So imagine I have a God I never spoke to, I never heard him, I never heard him, he never heard me. I never see me, I never saw him. I never met him, he never met me. Yet I am a messenger of that God. The Muslims, they claim, or Muhammadan, that they have a delivery guy, his name is Jibreel. Nice to meet you, Jibreel. Jibreel is a guy who like to do squeezing. When he met Muhammad first time, according to Muslims, he hold him and he squeezed him three times. And by the way, if you are a person who is uh, practice hunting or uh, or even uh, fishing, there is some gear you need to squeeze them to light at night. It's like a mix of chemical. You squeeze it, you break it, and then it's going to make lighting for you. So Muhammad, in order to be the light for the world, the angel, he need to squeeze him. And the squeeze have to be three times the same as the three monkeys. <clears throat> now we are waiting for Abdul's. Any Muhammadan. There's a Muhammadan, actually, he said he want to call me. The same guy yesterday, he called me. Let us see if he's going to call. If you are a Muhammad and you think you have something to say for us, prove us wrong. Here we have a challenge for you. That Muhammad is nothing but a false religion, false cult. And Muhammad is a prophet who he cannot be a prophet for a very simple reason. First of all, he don't know his God. Muhammad even do not know what the name of his God mean. What Muhammad he knew about his God. I mean, somebody want to come to me and to teach me about his God. Shouldn't he knew first his God? I was thinking to announce myself as a prophet. 
I have more qualification than Muhammad. The only qualification is missing. I need an old woman to marry me and she is rich. So we can pay for some advertising in YouTube and we can make a lot of fool join, join me in my prophethood. Hmm? But sadly, until now, I could not find a woman. She is 25 or 30 years older than me, and she is rich. So we can open a corporation. It's called the Corporation of Muhammad, Messenger of Allah. And I will announce myself that I am Muhammad. Even, even Muhammad, his name is not Muhammad. What is the name of your prophet, Muslims? One time the Quran called him Muhammad. One time he called him Ahmad. Hello. Hello. Yes, uh, Abdul. How are you? I'm good. Good. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You, 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 do you say Alhamdulillah? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Who said that? You or Allah? He said that. Allah Jalla Jalal. Allah. He said Alhamdulillah. How Allah? He is God, but He say Alhamdulillah. <laughs> He's teaching you. He's teaching you how no, to show me. No, show me. Where, show me where. Where? You, show me. No, show me. Show me what he go said. To, I'm teaching you. Go to, go to the first surah. Uh -huh. No, the one which Muhammad he received when he was doing poopoo. -poo. You remember yesterday we showed you? That's, that, that's not a hadith. I, I will not follow that. Hey, come on. I showed you the reference in the front of you. You cannot deny it. And anyway, if we go to the first, you said to me first, the first surah in the Quran, what we will find in the first surah in the Quran? Oh, you go. We will find your God, Allah, saying, Alhamdulillah. Yes, Allah teaching you that. Where, okay, sh show me where it says there. I am teaching you. Go ahead. No, re read it. Does read it say? Do does it say? Say in the name of Allah? No, it says in the name of Allah. How Allah? He is Allah. Yet he is saying in the name of Allah. Yeah, Allah is teaching you how to say his name. No, no. Show me. Show me what it says. I'm teaching you. I'm going to teach you. You see, when they ask Go Jesus, ahead. they ask Jesus in the Bible about how to pray. Says, he Bible, said, "Say Bible, this. Bible, say this." The word, the word of God, right? As we believe, right? Mm. That's how Quran is. The word of God. You cannot question the Quran. If you want to question it, you you you, you gotta just follow it. You know, not mm. blind following like you are following. You know that this like you Christians, what you do is you say, "Oh, Jesus is God," but you don't have a proof in even from your own scripture where you can show me that Jesus said. Well, here we go. The proof it in front of me. It says here, uh, "Praise be to Jesus, the most beneficent, the most merciful." Praise be to Jesus, the Lord of the world, the beneficent and the merciful, the master of the judgment. Let me ask you, let me ask you, when the Quran says, when the Quran says in verse number four, the master of the judgment day, isn't it this is Jesus? No, that's Allah Jalla Jalla. That's a lie because your prophet, he said that the Messiah will come. The, did your prophet say that the Messiah will come as Hakam and Muqsitan? Did your prophet say? What year are you born? What year are you born? Did, you, did your prophet say, I'm born, be, I'm born long people, time ago? Be, Answer me. Isn't it Jesus the master of the judgment day according to Islam? It's not Jesus. It's Jesus. Jesus will come and he will die. Jesus will come mm. back to the face of Okay, hold on. And he will die like you die. Okay, like okay, you okay hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. They'll, all of them will die like this. Did your prophet say, did your prophet say, let us, let us not to talk. Okay. Did your prophet say, stop, let me talk. Did your prophet say that the Messiah will come and he will be Hakam and Muqsitan? Translate to us what Hakam and Muqsitan mean. So, listen. Hakam and Muqsitan, it means that he will be, he will, he will come and kill all the kuffars. Like, you you are a kafir right now, hmm. completely, because you're not, you're not a follower of Jesus. You're a follower of Satan. If so, really Hakam and Muqsitan will, right, be, will be, will kill all the kuffar. Who is the donkey who taught you Islam? Who is the donkey? Give me the name of the donkey who taught you Islam. Hakaman, Hakaman, Hakaman in Arabic mean a judge. Muqsitan mean absolute justice. Stop lying. So Hakaman Muqsitan. Okay. So so he is who he is. Okay, you agreed, guys. Did you hear it? Did you hear? All right, guys. He he. We heard him saying that Jesus will be in the judgment day. The absolute judge and justice. That is God, my friend. There's nobody can do absolute judge and justice save God. Explain it, explain it, explain it from your scripture. Don't you listen. It's I, going to be I just use your I just use your prophet words and get you busted. Why I want to use my scriptures? I, why I want to use my scriptures? Here we go. Your prophet he says that Jesus is the master of the judgment day. Don't get the Quran explain it. Get your Bible. <laughs>
Okay, Abdul. Okay, Abdul. Today, today, Abdul. Breathe. My Lord and the Lord of Israel. Breathe, breathe. Is one. Breathe. So Jesus never said that I'm God. He said the Lord of my Israel and the Israel is only one. Okay. So why don't you clearly he's saying that he's not God. Why don't you why don't you worship the the God of Israel? Mm. Who's the God of the God of Israel is Jesus, the Messiah. He said, What do you say of the Messiah? The Jews they said to him, Shut up, let me let me show you. Let, I can show you. Do you do you want me to show you or you want to talk to yourself? Let let don't make me hang up on you. You are like a kid. Let us talk. We cannot talk in the same time. You made a statement. Let me answer you. You are you are literally you are like Muhammad when he claimed to be a prophet. He keep talking, he never stopped talking, but he have nothing to say. Can I can I answer you? You made a claim. You made a claim. Can I answer you, Abdul? Why you are calling me? Why you are calling me if you don't let me want you to, to, to talk? Are you going to just to talk yourself? When you are making claims, you gotta make claims for your own Bible. Don't get my I make it the way I like this in your business, but you make you you say to me what you want. Let me answer you. You cannot make let, anything for let me answer you. you. Let me answer okay. you. You are scared from my answer, right? Go, go, go ahead. Okay, listen. First of all, uh, you don't believe that Jesus is God, right? Of course. I don't okay. And you believe that Jesus never said, I am God? Yes, I believe okay. that Jesus never now, said. Now, if I show you that Jesus said, I am God, are you going to believe in that? You got to show me that verse where Jesus said that I am God. Yes. Jesus said. I yes. Himself, not any statement. Yes. That he and someone else made it. Paul. Oh, made we have we have to write we have to write the Bible the way you like. We have to make it. Jesus says, "I am God." If anything else, you want to accept, right? Listen, I'm saying where Jesus said himself hmm. that he he said that I'm God and worship. Yeah. Do you know the name of God? Did you hear that the Christian and the Jews they call their God Jehovah? Jehovah. Okay. So okay. Here we go. Jesus saying, "I am Jehovah." Read with me. Jesus, not Jehovah. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, read, read it, read it, read it. Stop, 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 stop like a like a monkey. Stop, 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 stop. Matthew chapter twenty-two, verse number forty-one. But the Pharisees were assumed. Yeshua asked, and he said, "What are you saying about the Messiah? Who is son? Is he?" They were saying to him, "The son of David." He said to them, and how did David by the Spirit call him the Lord Jehovah? For he said, the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit in, the, in, in my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. Therefore, David called him the Lord Jehovah. So how is he his son? Don't, 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 tell me, don't tell me a statement that David says. Say Show me no, Jesus point. saying this is Jesus saying that Jesus saying that Jesus saying to them. No, Jesus talking your donkey. He's saying to them, how you say that I am the son of David. If 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 your king David call me Jehovah, the Lord, the Messiah. They are speaking about the Messiah. Now we go back to our topic. Show me a prophecy of your prophet Muhammad. Otherwise, he's a false prophet. A challenge for you. Challenge for me. <laughs> yeah, how you call him a prophet, but he have no prophecy. What do you mean he doesn't have prophecy? Well, here you show me. Okay, show me. Here we go. The Quran in front of us. The Quran. The Quran. Here we go. The prophecy. The prophecy of Muhammad is in the book of Allah. Abdul. Abdul. Stop. Stop. Blah 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 blah. You are like a bubble. You are like a bubble of fart. Stop. Stop. Stop talking and start answering. Show me a prophecy of your prophet. You call him a prophet. How he became a prophet? Give me the prophecy. How he became a prophet? Give me the prophecy. Go to Surah Iqra. Iqra, Bismi Rabbika. Let's go to that Surah. Okay, we will go to Iqra. That's the start. That's the starting of his prophecy. Okay, let us see. All right, let us see if this is prophecy or this is a shish kebab. Are you sure? I'm asking you. That's the first. That's the first surah that was that was re revealed. By the way, the name of it is not Iqra. The name of it is Al Al Alaq. Let me teach you. It's not Iqra. It's Al Alaq. You are an ignorant. Okay. Now read for us. Where is the prophecy here? Where? Where is the prophecy? Where is the prophecy here? Where is the prophecy? Hello. 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 And he said he talks about hadith and Quran. That's Show me the prophecy. Here we go. We are in the chapter you asked me for. Let us go to the topic. Show me the prophecy, please. Okay, that's a prophecy of him. Where? That's the first. 
what, what does Lord say first? What what is he what is the what he said? He said he said read. Okay, read. So okay, read read the whole translation for the people. In the name of the Lord who creates. Okay. And where is the prophecy? Okay, go go ahead. You tell me what is the prophecy? The chapter is long. Where is the prophecy? You should read this. You should read it. And you it doesn't matter. You read it. No problem. Show me what is the prophecy. What I see here, what I see here is a stupid statement. How Allah, he said to Muhammad, read, but you Muslim, you say Muhammad do not know how to read. That's, that, that's, that's the power of God. Power of God. So Muhammad do not know how to read and Allah, he said to him to not uh, read. Does that mean that Allah do not even know that Muhammad do not know how to read? Of course, Allah is the knower of everything. So how he right? say to him, read a guy he do not know how to read. What the point of saying read? He, he's al -qadir. He, he he is whatever you know. He he wants to do whatever he wants. He's kun fayakun. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Now we will we will go to kun fayakun. Abdul, Abdul, you you are the one who put yourself in trouble. You are the one who said to me, quote this chapter. Here we go. The first the first word Allah he said to Muhammad is a, is a stupid and cannot be true. How he said to him, read, but Muhammad do not know how to read. Why are you reading it? So why are you reading it? Well, Allah said to Muhammad, read, not to me. Okay, so why why are you reading it? I mean, just to make fun, having fun, don't you see? Muhammad is a stupid prophet. We are getting him busted. We are spanking him. So now answer me. How your God? How how you say to me? I said to you, show me a prophecy. You say this is a prophecy. Israel, believe in the Lord of Israel, who's one? You are an idiot. Stop talking. Stop talking. Answer me. How this is a prophecy? How God did not know that Muhammad did not know how to read? You, you are such a ignorant person. Really? Why? Why I'm ignorant? I, you know, I'm going with you. No problem. Let us say I am ignorant. Teach me. Show me. Silence me. Okay. Allah, he said to Muhammad, read. Muhammad did not know how to read. Who is the stupid here? Muhammad or Allah? Listen. Question. Listen. Show me. Listen. Listen over here first. Silence me. It's not, I'll silence you. I'll, you'll get silenced by the Quran so easily. Okay. okay? Show me. You'll get silenced. Quran is there for you to silence. Answer me. Okay. Listen first. You, you want to listen first? Yes, show me. Okay. So first, what you got to do is whatever doubts, whatever questions that you have about Quran and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, right? Mm -hmm. About your Bible, about the Torah, mm -hmm. you can write them down. Write it. Write. Write all the questions. What is the answer? What is the answer? Why Allah He said to Muhammad read, but Muhammad did not know how to read. Who is the stupid ear? Stop giving me a lecturer. I'm not giving you a lecture. So give me the answer. Why He said to him read? I'm telling you, if you so first explain what God <laughs> Turkey, Mr. Turkey, I'm going to change your name. Your name is not Muhammad. Your name is Turkey. First, Answer me, what kind of God? He do not know that the guy he's speaking to, he do not know how to read. Khanzir, first explain what God means. Khanzir is you, your prophet is Khanzir. I warned you before, if you insult me, even the Quran says that is a booba jahala yahmar, gabi. Learn your Quran, learn your Quran. You are disobeying even your prophet. So you are calling me names, I will call your prophet names. So answer. 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 Whenever he speaks, the hypocrite is your prophet. Whenever you try to, whenever you try to give him an advice, he bursts in front of the people. That's what you did. That's what you did. You know, it, it, it makes my beliefs more stronger in Islam. More. I can't because, tell. You know, Muhammad, <laughs> him, he I, had more enemies. I like can't tell. I can't tell. You are getting so strong in your belief, brother. So now, after you get so strong, can you answer the question still? Now you are very strong. You became yeah, we'll, Papai, we'll Mr. Papai. Can you answer the question? How Allah He said to Muhammad, read, but yet Muhammad do not know how to read. Papai. Did you eat sabanic? Did you eat spinach? Did you eat spinach today, Mr. Papai? Papai, 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 Papai. Okay, yesterday, yesterday we showed you that Muhammad he died like a rat, and Jesus never died. No problem. Jesus is God. You see, you just proved to me that Jesus is God. Now answer. You see how stupid you are. What does it have to do with my topic? Donkey. How the earth running? We idiot. We believe that God never dies. Same time we believe in the Trinity. You are stupid. Your God, Allah, here we go. He is running the earth. He cannot even run the mouth of Muhammad. He said to he said to him, read. He does not know how to read.
Are you going to answer the question or you will keep going forever? That's, that's what I'm telling you. I'm, I'm going to answer your okay, question. Okay, I'm waiting, Papai. Okay. Papai, go. Your eighth spinach today. I'm waiting. How Allah, he said to him, read, but Muhammad cannot read. Listen, it's God. God is, first, you have to explain what God means. God can do. This is not my God question. I don't God. care. What kind of God? What, what do you mean God can do? He told him, read. Muhammad still cannot read. Just, Jesus, just tell me. Jesus, he said to the blind man, see, the man he see. He said to the one who cannot walk, walk, he walk. Allah, he said to Muhammad, read, he cannot read this still. So Allah is a false God. Muhammad is a false prophet. So, how, so he didn't read it. So how, how did all the Quran got revealed? He saw, who, Are you saying to me, Muhammad, he did read? Yeah, that's what he did. He, he read afterwards. No, he did not. No, he did not. No, he did not. No, he did not. Re reading is not reciting. No, recite re reciting. Okay, the word here is Iqra, not to re not to repeat after me, correct? So what, is, what does that mean? Read, you, you have to see something written in your hand. Yeah, we have to give you a paper. We have to give you a paper and you read it from it. Abdul, let us say let us say what you are saying is, is it true? But it's funny. Uh, if I say to you, read, shouldn't you say to me, read what, you donkey? Read what? You just say to me one word. The story says in the hadith that, uh, that, that Jibreel, he came to Muhammad. He said to him the word read. The only word he said to him, read. And then he started squeezing him, squeezing him. The Muhammad, he said to him, I do not know how to read. The guy, he squeezed him again. He said to him, read. The guy, he said, I do not know how to read. The guy squeezed him again. So what the point? So obviously, both of them, they are donkeys. One is saying read. The other one, he do not know how to read. And there's no communication. So Allah, he said to Muhammad, read it three times. To do what? What happened the, first, the third time when he read? What happened? You tell me. What happened? What happened? Nothing. He, he came back to from Ghari Hira, he came back to his wife Khadija mm. Al Yeah, and he said to her, he said, uh, he said to her, What's wrong with me? Zammiluni, Zammiluni. Okay, Zammiluni, Zammiluni. Explain to the explain to people who listening what Zammiluni mean. Zammiluni, cover me, cover me. Okay, why cover me, cover me? He is having a fever. No, he's not having a fever. First, first of all, mm. you gotta understand who who's Jibrail is. Jibrail mm. salam, he, he's the angel of God, who's one of the biggest angels of. Allah mm. that is mm. closest to Allah. Okay, first you gotta understand that. Mm. First, so make make your own statements first, right? Mm. You gotta first know what Deen Islam is first, all about. Mm. You're just getting the Quran and Hadith. You're trying to make fun of it, mm. but try don't try to make fun of it. Try to make people understand what is the real belief of Islam <laughs> is, right? Okay. You, yeah. So the real belief of Islam is believing in Jesus, the Prophet. Okay. Mm. The real this is not my question. Don't change the topic. You're a prophet. He said, "Cover me, cover me." Why? He is. He, he feels sick. Did, did he ask his wife? Did, is it true? Is it true that you're a prophet? Is it true that you're a prophet? Stop talking, man. You are like a machine. You are a donkey. I cannot. We cannot talk this way. Blah 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 blah. Take a break. Take speak for two minutes. Give me one minute. Okay, go. Okay. When Muhammad he went back to his wife and he said to his wife, "Cover me, cover me." And did he say okay. to did he say to to his wife what's wrong with me? No. No, he did not say that. The wife asked him what was wrong with you. Like what happened? No, 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 no. If I show you that Muhammad he said Muhammad he said that what you will do? Are you willing to uh, to apologize for lying? It is Muhammad he said what's wrong with me. What's wrong? He didn't say what's wrong. Is that Zamilun? If I show you that he said that, if I show you what? Okay. If I show you that he said that, are you willing to say I am an ignorant? I will never say I'm an ignorant because you are ignorant because you're trying to explain Quran and Hadith that you never know. They don't know. If I show you, if I show you, he said that. What you will do? Hello. Abdul. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to him. In the front of us, we see that Muhammad is a person who is suffering from men mental illness. I actually witness that Muhammad he keeps saying, "Where I am and where I will be tomorrow." Muhammad, 
He knew he's a false prophet. He knew that he is going to end in hellfire. Where I am and where I will be tomorrow. Call me back when you get your internet talking machine. So we can love together. The God who said to Muhammad, read. And Muhammad who said to him, I do not know how to read. What this story is about and from the first verse in the Quran we will see the Quran is teaching stupid teaching why you can change to any translation you want which all of them they are a bunch of flyers but we can show you all translations the name of the chapter is the clot Al -alaqa. Verse number two, the Quran claimed that Allah created a human being from a dead blood, which is explained later in the chapter 23 that Allah He made the sperm into a congealed dead blood. So the first statement is stupid, the second statement is stupid. The fourth statement is stupid. Allah He told the He told the man by the pen. It is Allah who created the pen. How Allah He taught the man by the pen. If Muhammad himself do not know how to write, how to read. How Allah He say to someone who do not know how to write, how to read, He taught by the pen. What pen? And how you can say that specifically to someone like Muhammad. So as you see, from the first what Muhammad and Muhammad and they call it revelation we see that Allah is a false God and Muhammad obviously is a false prophet read and look the Muslims here they fabricate translation they say proclaim or read it doesn't work either proclaim it doesn't work even if it's read because to recite you have to know it by heart and this is the first word he said to him actually the story does not make sense at all how the guy he said to him read and the Muhammad he said to him I do not know how to read since so Muhammad asked him read what give me a paper to read and what does that mean did the angel give him a book if the angel is saying to him just repeat after me why Muhammad he said to him I cannot repeat if this is what it's meant that would be stupid too <laughs> yes, Abdul. Your voice, your voice is cutting. Your voice is cutting. Say, did you say inshallah before you call me? I cannot hear you, My, uh, brother. Brother, please, before you call me, Alhamdulillah, say inshallah. And that will make your connection very strong. Hmm? Don't call me if you don't say inshallah for his brother. Only Muslims can call me. Only Muhammadan. Don't call me if you are not a Mohammedan. Mohammedan only. Faris is calling me coward. Faris the kid. <laughs> Faris, answer, answer, Faris.
Answer, Abdul. And then a uh, witness with me. Okay, what do you want to answer? Uh, a witness with me. Not not even one Muhammad, and he can show us one prophecy of what they call a prophet Muhammad. How stupid this cult is. Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, but yet he don't have a prophecy. Nice to meet you. We have a stupid teaching, which is a false prophecy. They cannot show us one thing mentioned come to be true. So I have a prophet. We call him a prophet, but he have no true prophecy. He have false statement, false teaching. The baby is created from a congealed dead blood. Well, nice to meet you, but the dead blood. I never heard of a God teaching that except Allah. Hmm? Actually, if you know Arabic, you will die laughing at this chapter here, which have no meaning. Muhammad trying to make Arabi music, which is stupid. Yesterday, I bought a cat and I took it to my flat and the cat was really big. And he said, I am, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't look like a pig. And I told him, what's your name? He said to me, uh, uh, I mean, like I'm trying to make a rabbi music like Muhammad. But in Arabic, I can make it easy, to be honest with you. Even a lot better than Muhammad. I can make point. Not this. Uh, this is called uh, a broken sajah. Yes, Abdul. Yes. Uh, so you are trying to, uh, as I told you, right? Mm. So first, give me your questions that you have about Islam and Muhammad. My question, my friend. My question. Listen carefully, please. Take a breath. Where is the uh, prophecy or prophet he gave in order to call somebody a doctor? No, you have you don't have one questions you have so many no i have one just one give me a prophecy your prophet he prophesy and come to be true the quran in front of us and we are listening so you you, you have this one question only, the, only. The city this is our plan. topic today this is our topic it says muhammad i said my, the topic of our title today prophet was false prophecy meet muhammad no, so because sometimes you bring up the black stone no no we will not talk about the black stone black stone proving muhammad to be a pagan this is a different story now i'm asking you Give me please one a prophecy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that. okay. So why you why your prophet is the black stone? You see, you open the topic now. Answer, here we go. You put yourself in trouble. What Muhammad, if he is a worshiping one God, why he kiss a stone? Mwah, stone. Okay, he kissed it. So why can you can you do anything about it? I can do anything about it. We can love. He's a pagan man. No, if Jesus came today, right? Just say that. Mm. And he he kissed uh let's say a red light. Really? Would, would you Okay, let's say I'm just, just saying he kissed a red light and he told you, you know, that follow whatever I did. Would you do it or not? No, we will not because that will not that, that will mean that he's that's, a fake Jesus. No, no, Jesus. that the, yeah, we you will not follow him. Jesus. No, we, that, that's follow mean him. yes, I will not follow him because that's mean he is not the true Christ. That's as simple as that. You're you're a prophet, is a pagan man, he kisses stones. Why you're a prophet? Why you why you're a prophet Abdul? You don't if change. You oh. If you don't kiss the red here light, we go. Because you're not following. You don't have. Here we go. Him. Here we go. Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Why he kissed it? He kissed it. He why? Why? It. Why? He no problem. But why? Why, my friend? It's okay. I get. It. I get. It. He kissed it. We know that. But why? 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 It's a stone from Jannah. So, so what? If a donkey came from Jannah, you will kiss it. If a donkey came to you from Jannah, here we go. Allah sent al Burak. It's a donkey. Yeah, I'll kiss it, of course. Okay, so, but why he kiss it anyway? Yeah, I'll did, kiss it, did his God tell him to kiss it? Or he Muhammad was it. just a pagan man? Hmm? What? Let's say God made you to give your wife today, right? I do not hear you. you. You say again, say again. Say again, you're, you're, did you say inshallah before you call me? Did you say inshallah before me? My friend, I told you, your Allah is not helping you. Can Allah string your internet? Let us make a short prayer to Allah. Can you make a short prayer to Allah to string in your internet? Why your, why your Allah is not giving you better internet? Back and forth. I don't hear you. First, I'm going to tell you that if today, yeah, now, now I hear you. Look. 
See, Muhammad is a prophet. You see, it's very sure, very sure. Muhammad is a prophet. And we're kissing the, kissing the black stone in the shape of a vagina, which the Arab believe it's a vagina, the god of fertility. That is the truth. Muhammad is a prophet. What make him a prophet? I have no idea. Khanzir. You see, the Muslims, they hate Khanzir, but all their women, they do makeup by Khanzir. 90% of the lips stick is made by Khanzir, by pork. This is how stupid the Muslims are. So when you kiss your wife, you are kissing Khanzir. And they write for you halal in it just to fool you. Everyone in the world, including Muslims, he do a surgery. They tie up your stitches by Khanzir, your donkey. Khanzir is the most useful animal, not like your prophet. If not the Khanzir, millions of Muslims will die because Khanzir is the one who provides you with insulin. You see how much useful the Khanzir? What is the use of your Muhammad? People die because of Muhammad, but people live because of the Khanzir. Go and search where the insulin came from. All those who have diabetes, who die because of diabetes, they are saved by Mr. Khanzir. Khanzir, he's safe. You're a prophet, he don't save anyone. He kill. Do we have any Abdul? May they, may they. A prophet with no prophecy. He have false prophecies. When he speak, he do not talk. He made fun of himself. So tons of videos about the amazing Muhammad. Fabricated videos, scientific verses in the Quran, science in the Quran, but it's nothing but a scam. Literally. Who is the one who want to challenge us to prove us wrong? Only Muslims can call me, please. Only Muhammad. And don't call me if you are not a Muslim. Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan can prove us wrong. Muhammad is a false prophet. Give me one prophecy. Muhammad, he said, come to be true. Just one. Anyone? By the way, last month I made a prophecy and it come to be true. I don't know if you remember it. I said that this coming month, there's many women, they will have their period. And you believe it or not, this is true. And not only that. I said that in January, in many places, we will have a snow and it come to be true. You believe it? Unbelievable. And not only that, I said in the summer is going to be hot and in the winter is going to be cold. And not only that, I said that many women, they talk a lot and many men, they are going to lose their houses because of divorce. You believe it? And not only that, I said that Trump, he, he will marry from a woman, her name, uh, uh, Melena Trump, you know? And this is a true. He married her, yes, 20 years ago, but still, I how I know, how I know he, he, he will marry her. I mean, uh, uh, like, in a, this is a previous, like in, the, like, what they call it? Like a statement today, I said it, but I know it before, before I know it. How I know that? Huh? I said many prophecies, they come to be true. I said that uh, YouTube will uh, will create a program, it's called YouTube, and I call it, and I did make my prophecy last month. How I know that? And here we go, now we are using YouTube, you believe it? Hmm? And let me give you a prophecy which nobody knows. In Indonesia, people, they speak Indonesian. And in India, uh, uh, the one who live there are Indian. Here we go. I never been in India. How I know that? Hmm? I will give you another one which nobody knows. That fish they live in the water. How I know that?
Okay, I will give you a prophecy which nobody knows that most of the actors we see today in TV they don't have really breast, they have a silicone one. How I know that? Fake balloon. Unbelievable. Hold on, hold on. Jabril is talking to me. Jabril is talking to me. Yes, Jabril. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. There is somebody right now in the airport in USA and he's holding his passport. Had Jabril, he told me that. How I know that? I mean, look how fast the information. The guy is in the airport and he's holding his passport and Jabril, he just told me that. How I know that? Obviously, this is a miracle. And Jabril just now told me. Just now. So who is the Muslim who want to tell us how Muhammad became a prophet? The big guy, Muhammad. What a big false propaganda. A black to a stone kisser, a pagan man, he go around the stones, bow to a stones, worship his stones, and he, he force you to face direction of a stone. Yet you claim that he is a prophet. All your religion is based on stones, yet you accuse others to be pagans. Hello. <laughs> what is that? You call me, you change your mind. If your mother in law she is nearby, don't call me. Otherwise, you will end the day washing dishes. Any Abdul. Maybe, maybe. Who is the Muslim want to save his prophet? Where we come from the prophecy in the book of Allah, where a prophesy something and come to be true. Hmm? By the way, for those who do not know, the Muslim don't even have a black stone no more. Do you see the picture here? Maybe you do not notice what those pictures are about. The Muslims, what they have right now is little tiny stones in the size, not even in the size of your fingertip. Eight little pieces. One. Oh, let me make it in red. Most of people like red. Yeah, red. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. That's it. So, what is around it? This is a wax. It is nothing but wax. You believe it? That's it. This is a stone Allah He sent from heaven and did not even look the same. Do you see some of them they are gray, some of them they are brown, some of them they are black? They cannot even be from the same stone. So if Allah, he sent one stone from heaven, how Allah could not protect the stone? Look what happened to the stone. It's gone. There is no stone. There is no stone. The stone is gone. Is the stone Allah. Where are you? Allah, he did not break the, uh, protect the stone. We have to put insurance on the stone. It's gone. And you Muslim, you keep kissing it, kissing what? There's nothing there. So that's what they have. They have little tiny eight pieces and they stick it inside the wax to resemble the old way the stone supposed to used to be, a vagina. Alhamdulillah. Any Muslim? Krishati is dead. My friend, if a Christianity is dead, why you are Muslims are afraid from, from somebody preaching the gospel in Saudi Arabia, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan? Christianity is dead, but you are terrified. Islam is the one is dead, my friend. 
using violence to keep a religion exist that's mean this violence this religion is collapsing is dead it is the one is dead christianity is exists with the freedom which means the one who want to be christian he is a christian with the free choice to be or not to be you don't have a freedom to be or not to be give a freedom to people and let us see how many of you will be muslims and watch our program and see how many people accept christ here every day leaving the cult of muhammad According to Al Jazeera TV, 16,000 Muslims leave in Islam a day. 666. That's amazing. Even the number is 666. You believe it? This is what the Jira said, not me. An hour. Six millions a year. It's not me who said that. Al Jazeera TV. Now, who is the Muslim? He is going to give us a goal and show us that Muhammad is a prophet. Hello? By the way, every every week, every week, the Muhammadan, they have to do maintenance to the black stone. If you don't believe me, you can go right now and search for maintenance for the black stone. I wish I can play the video for you, but they will claim copyright over it. They do literally maintenance. Why Allah don't do maintenance? If this is holy, his holy stone and he sent it to Muhammad and sent it to Abraham, he sent it to Adam. We need to do maintenance to it. Oh boy. CB apologize to us as a Christian. Hey Boris, I don't want to apologize to you as a Christian. You are no Christian. You are Boris Yeltsin. A donkey with certification. Get lost. Nice to meet you, Boris Yeltsin. You are a fake Christian. There is no way a Christian he will not like what I am doing. We are the real Christian, not you. You are a fake one. Attacking the ones who bring people to Christ, proving to me that you are a fake person. Who is a Muslim? He dare to call us a brother. Have you written any of my books in Arabic? My friend, I wrote all my books in Arabic, but look, but what happened? It's a miracle. I write in Arabic, Jibreel, he make it English. The second I read the word in Arabic, J Jibreel, like in purpose, he's opposing me. You know, he's fighting me. I want to write the book in Arabic. So I write, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Jibreel, he write away. He changed the letters to English. He make it in the name of Allah. It's a miracle. Actually, let me tell you a true story. This is a true story, by the way, between quotation. Huh? I wrote a book in English. I woke up in the morning. I found it in French. Allahu Akbar. Jibreel. Don't play ever with Jibreel. If Jibreel get upset from you, I will not be surprised if my book right now and the one I'm working in, I woke up in the morning, I find it in Chinese. Actually, this is a true story, by the way. I wanted to open a, a broadcast and I said, like as usual, hello, everybody. And instead of saying that, Jibril, he punished me and he made me speak Chinese. So I said, Jim -ho -he -ho -ha. which means, welcome to everybody. Please invite your friends. And this is a true story, by the way. Sahih al Bukhari. How are you, Rizikar? How are you? Still alive? Who is a Muslim when I go of us, when I give us a proof that Muhammad is a prophet? I mean, literally, I am so disappointed. You Muslims, you count yourself by millions, or by hundreds of millions, yet not even one, and you call Muhammad a prophet, but not even one of you can tell us how Muhammad became a prophet. He prophet for what? Huh? What make him a prophet? Unbelievable. What is the qualification to be a prophet in Islam? Hmm? What is it? Be my witness. 
not every, not any Muslim Abdul, he can tell us what, how Muhammad he became a prophet. Let us see this Abdul here. Hello? Hello? Yes. Is it CP? Yes, it is. Hello, friend. My name is uh, Aswan. Okay. And uh, I am a struggling Muslim, you can say. Okay. Why are you are struggling? Because I have, uh, I have been watching your videos for a long time. All right. And I have been reading side by side. And uh, it started to, you know, grow doubt. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why now today you were talking about stone, black stone. Hmm. I, I, I never get it why a prophet ever kissed it. Yeah, but you know, uh, the Muslim, they say to us, and you are a Muslim supposed to until now, that uh, the black yeah. stone, uh, as you heard the guy before, he, he said, uh, because Allah, he sent it from heaven, he, this is why he kissed it. I mean, this is, isn't it funny that if yeah, a stone but, coming from heaven, we kiss it? So what? So heaven means the space. So what does that mean? There's many stones come from the space every day. Yeah, meteoroid. And that's why I, I always wondered why he kissed it if he was uh, against idol worship. I, I also know that it is not idol worship exactly. But still, it didn't make sense. And uh, after that, all Muslims uh, started that practice. So, you know, th these kind of things were making me skeptic about this religion. Okay, only so only, I, only the black stone is making you, uh, like, uh, not sure? Is that the only no, thing? No, no, no. Lot, lots of other issues. Lots of other issues. Okay. Not only this. What is, what is from my videos make you more, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, taking... No, I, 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 I was never, uh, you know, too much into hadiths before okay before your video um, i was only into quran and something and uh, hadiths were not my thing so when i started to uh, see your videos and i st started to check the hadiths and everything was there what you said and uh, it was not something like you are making up or something so uh, i i grew my confidence in you that you are not lying at least all right so 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 that's why, and then I saw your video of that uh, Abu Tahir, I think, who attacked Kaaba. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and challenged Allah that send your burned army mm -hmm. because I'm going to attack. And I checked it about it, and this uh, story was in a book, uh, History of Islam. Mm -hmm. And exact things you told were there that uh, pilgrims were killed. And Kaaba was destroyed and sto a stone was stolen. So that made me very much skeptic of that story. Because if Allah is really existing, then why didn't he, you know, even stop him from doing anything? Yeah, because remember, like, they have a chapter, it's called the elephant, right? The chapter of the elephant. Yeah, yeah, so how come yeah, when, when the Kuffar, when the Kuffar are occupying the Kaaba, when the pagan, they have 360 idols, right, around the Kaaba, Allah, he sent an yeah. uh, he sent an army of birds to defend it, but when there is there is no uh, uh, idols around the Kaaba, Allah, he did not send his birds. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Now. Yeah, so it's a it's a it's I, a lie. There's no proof of this story about the elephant. And how how who in the world want to believe that an army of elephant will go and walk in the desert? An elephant he need an average of six hundred liters of of water a day just to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's uh, what I'm saying things are not matching up and it's it's just like a blind faith it's uh, it, it's not and then uh, another issue i have i think you can clear my points uh, about apostasy wars okay and whenever i ask question about apostasy wars i don't get any you know any much clear answers can you tell me where i, I can find it uh, proper information on that issue well you know uh, there is many actually uh, because all of, all of islam all of Islam and, uh, is, sorry, about, is about sorry apostasy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. I was. Uh, yeah, you, you go ahead. Tell me what are you saying? Yeah, I'm saying all the Quran is about killing who they are upper state, and I will explain to you in a very simple way. Is it Muhammad? He said that everyone is born as a Muslim. Yeah. Okay. And isn't it the Quran says fight those who don't believe? Yes. Okay. That's being kill anyone who is upper state. Uh, sometimes it can be taken into context or not. No, 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 that we cannot. Like did, did Muhammad go in war with those who don't believe? Did Muhammad he say, I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and there's no Prophet but Muhammad? Yeah, it's in Hadith, I think so. 
Yeah, but even in the Quran, no, even in the Quran, let's let's go to the Quran. If we go okay. in the Quran, first of all, we will mm -hmm. find <clears throat> okay. If we go in uh, chapter Uh. Let us see. There's many verses, but uh, but uh, you know I, I will try to show you something more clear. In chapter nine, verse number eleven, as an example, it says chapter nine, verse eleven. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If they repent and establish regular prayer and they practice regular charity, they are your they, they are your brothers. In faith, those do we explain and sign in details. Okay, so what is that? And if they violate their oath, their oath in what? Here they became people of charity, people of belief, people of being Muslim, right? But if they violate your, their oath in what? In the oath they did here, if they became Muslims and they are establishing mm -hmm. the prayer, but if they violate their oath, then you kill them. Mm. Okay. And here he's saying to him, uh, aren't you going to fight those who violate their oaths and they pulled it against the messenger? But here he's saying what, what, he's, what he's requiring from them, if they are people who became in faith and they are Muslims, then we don't kill them. That's it. But if they violate yeah. their oath, then we kill them for they are the chief of fitna. You know, mm. the chief of kuffar. So what is the requirement for those people not to be killed if they keep in faith and they keep staying as a Muslim and establish regular prayer? And then he says, fight them and Allah will punish them by your hands. Yeah. Okay. Now, they the Muslim here, they will say to you, it says here that the one who expelled the prophet of Allah. Okay, hold on. The one who expelled the prophet of Allah, you want to fight them? First of all, Muhammad never been expelled according to all Islamic sources Muhammad that he ran away by himself and he did not expel by anybody They did not kick him out yeah. Secondly, yeah, that story secondly even already. even if somebody expel me That is not an excuse to go after people and kill them go and live in different city in peace preach your uh, your your uh, uh, You that you are prophet go ahead. You know you are in different city and now why you are attacking them go there Here we go. He went to different city. They did not go after him it was him who's going after them and he started doing a, a, a piracy in the street so uh, actually thing was this not that they they left their uh, houses and their properties back in, in mecca so they wanted to uh, take take that back so that's why they attacked mecca yeah you know muhammad he said it clearly and, and not this is not only in the hadith if you go like in different uh, different uh, verse on the quran uh as an example in chapter 3 uh, verse here we go chapter 3 verse number 90 19 90 90 yes okay but those who reject faith after they accept it then go and yeah. add in their the finest or to the faith never will be repentance to be accepted Okay, so here Muhammad he says, if you reject Islam, you repent or you don't repent, we would not accept. What does that mean? It's mean you became a kafir. We have to kill you. What mm -hmm. repentance would mean? And by the way, here this is again the uh, additional uh, false prophecy of Muhammad because there is many of those who left Islam, they became a Muslim again when Muhammad he won the war. So this is a false prophecy. Mm -hmm. How you say to them, we will never accept your repentance if you leave Islam, and then he accept them. As an example. Uh, Abdullah ibn Sarah Abdullah ibn Sarah 
is the one not only he left Islam he got Muhammad busted he said that Muhammad is a false prophet he write for me what I say he is not even okay. even, even Muhammad even Muhammad he made a verse about it from the Quran the Quran and he said that Allah gave me this verse and this is about Abdullah ibn Sarah if we go in the Quran we will find this that I show you the verse Yeah, I think it's a kata about him. That that guy you're talking about, his relative. Huh? Abdullah ibn Sarah. He is a he's a guy. He was, he was an uh, like a, a scribe for Muhammad. A scribe. Yeah, he was a scribe for Muhammad, and he he noticed that Muhammad is a false prophet. Uh, so. Uh, uh, he said that Muhammad is a false prophet, and Allah never inspired him anything. He write what I say. I am the one who inspire him. You know, read with me here this verse, chapter six, verse number ninety-three. Chapter six, verse, verse number 90, ninety-three. Six. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. Who can be more wicked than the one who invents lie against Allah, or says, "I have received inspiration"? Do you see it? He says, "I receive inspiration." Who is the one who's talking mm -hmm. here? The, the inscribe of Muhammad. He got him busted. He he left Islam and he told the people that Muhammad is not receiving inspiration. It was me because he I say something, he say write it there. Can you tell me his name again? Abdullah ibn Sarah. Abdullah ibn Abi Sarah. Abdullah Abu? Abdullah bin Abi it's Sarah. Really Abdullah bin Abi as Sarah. Bin Abi as Sarah. Yeah, let me see what, uh, what let us see what Ibn Kathir will say about this. Let us see in English. Maybe you can see the name in English so you can uh, get, take a reference. Okay, okay, so we go I'm to 693. 693. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. You see my screen, right? Uh, I'm, I'm on, on English. Okay. I was talking to you on phone. Now I'm starting the laptop right. so I can see your screen. This is Ibn Kathir translation, which is far away from Ibn Kathir in Arabic, by the way, but we will use it to see if it's written there in details. Because usually what they do, they, you know, they cut a lot of from the translation what is written in Arabic. Let us see. Or say I have re received inspiration where is not inspired by anything. Ikrama or Qutada says that this ayah re revealed about Musaylam al kadhab but this is not true. This is about Ibn Sarah. Uh, so in the, this is okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you see here, it's it's cut off. Yeah, we can't see it here. Let us see different. As was expecting, they they cut off the story. They cut the story. Yeah, let us see. Uh, let us go to the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. <coughs> let us go. To the mute you too, please, so I don't hear myself twice. Yeah, I did it. Okay. So we go here. Six ninety-three. And this is Tafsir al Jalalain. See here they are saying this is about Musaylim al Kadhab. Let us go to Asbab al Nuzul. Okay. Here they are saying Musaylim al Okay, let us go and show you in Arabic then. Look like in English we are going nowhere. You know if Arabic we go, very well, so you can translate it. Yeah, if we go in Arabic, actually the same website. Let me show you. Here we go. This, the, this is why I, I say like always Muslims like, uh, in English. Uh, uh, the, the, the most thing I have grown about you is trust that you are not liar. Well, not the, people they can so see in the screen, I people who speak. You know, if, if it is not written in English, I'm ready to accept it. No, my friend, I can copy in the front of you. And you can see in I can give you the link you can translate in Google all right Google, Google, Google Translate. yeah here we go it says 
وتجهيل منه لهم في معارض عبد الله بن بن سعد بن ابي السرح والحنفي مسيلمه لنبي الله اوكي سو دي ار سين ناو ان طبري ذات ذس از اباوت بات هيز هي سيد نزلت هذه الايه في عبد الله بن سعد بن ابن ابي السرح اخي بني عامر بن لؤي وكان يكتب للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وكان فيما يملي عزيز حكيم فيكتب غفور رحيم فيغيره ثم يقرأ عليه كذا وكذا لما حول فيقول نعم سواء نعم سواء فرجع عن الإسلام ولحق بقريش let me translate this guy actually you know what let me, let me open google translation even okay. google translation will not give an accurate translation but better than nothing so people will not say this guy is making things up all right google translation yeah. let us see google translate all right actually i'm going to copy the whole link and post it there yeah. in the front of everybody and as you see this is the official government website of the kingdom of jordan It's translating. All right. Let us see now. Oh, the, the page coming funny. <laughs> it's not coming correct. But anyway, uh, you will see here the name. Let us see. Do you see the name? Abdullah ibn Sarah. Let us uh, highlight for you so you can see it. You see it says Abdullah ibn Sa'd. Abdullah bin Sa'd ibn Abi Sarah. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, Saad okay. bin Abi Now, here it says, let us go down. Uh, okay, this is say revealed. Okay, well, let's see where he said that here. Let us make a line. Okay. Uh, fabricated falsehood and falsehood the people differed uh, from the interpretation of this verse some of them they said which which we said in it that the one who said this to us uh, the translation is uh, funny okay akrama blah 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 okay they said that uh, 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 it's a, that the revelation is a lie and uh, you see uh, here the translation is really funny um here it says that he said that the prophet peace upon him he said azizun hakim muhammad he say azizun hakim came down to him but the guy he said the guy he changed it and he make it uh, uh, from azizun uh, hakim ghafurun uh, rahim so muhammad he says azizun hakim the guy he write down ghafurun rahim he asked Muhammad, "What do you think about that?" He said, "It's fine." <laughs> so how you how you claim that this is Allah sending you messages, and then you say, uh, you know, it's okay to change it? So the guy, the Muhammad, he says something. The guy he advised him to write something else. Muhammad he agree. He said it's the same. Write it the same. No problem. You know. So this guy here, he left Islam. Let us me let us see what it says. Uh, then 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 he said. Uh, whether he returned to Islam before the coincidence of Mecca. Okay, so this guy, anyway, he he left Islam. The translation is very funny and very stupid here. The the guy yeah, he, the guy he left Islam because it's using like an old uh, classical language. Google is, is it's not easy to to translate. The guy he decided to leave Islam simply because he discovered that Muhammad is a false prophet. And I challenge any Muslim. Here with me, it says. Uh, let us see here. The one who said that he said to me, the Prophet Ibn Abu Hassan said, son of Ahmad, Rabbi Baba, okay, and then he said, uh, Abdullah ibn Sa'id ibn Abi Sarah, Aslam, he became a Muslim. And he was writing for the Prophet, he was a scribe, okay? And then if he dictate to him, hearing mm -hmm. what he said, he wrote wise, uh, uh, wise, if he said whatever wise, he wrote, Hearing all, I mean, this translation is false, you know. Translation is not good. So, what is saying here, Muhammad he says something, the guy he said, I will write this, and Muhammad he said, Okay, no problem, write it there. 
So imagine I'm saying to you, I receive inspiration from Allah, write it for me. And then you start writing, and then you say to me, I think it's better if we write it this way, you know? And then you say to him, you okay, write it the way that you 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 say it's fine. Obviously, he's a false. So the man he decided to leave Islam. So look what he says here. Uh he's he said, if Muhammad is a prophet, uh, 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 like it's uh, verses revealed to him. He revealed it, mm -hmm. it, it's revealed to me too because I am the one who's saying to me, and he agreed with me. You see, the translation yeah. is false, but you can understand, right? So he's saying, if Muhammad, if Muhammad, he received uh, what revelation is, well, must I must be a prophet too because here we go, whatever I say to him, he agreed with me, mm -hmm. you know. So the guy here, he, he, he decided to leave Islam and he decided to expose Muhammad. So Muhammad, he made a verse about him. And then this guy, uh, uh, because of what he did, he went and he uh, hid in the, in, the, in the house of Uthman ibn Affan because Muhammad, he ordered to, to his blood to be shed. Okay. Yeah. So he, and Muhammad ordered him to kill him. Huh? Ordered to kill him. Yes, he, he would never forgive him. That's why he said a verse. It says, I will never forgive the one who, who, who says such a thing. But then Muhammad, because he don't want to, uh, Uthman to, to be upset, when Muhammad became victorious and he entered into Mecca, he said there's four people they have to be slaughtered. Four. There's no mercy for them. It's a must. This guy, he hid in the, ho in the house of Uthman. And then Uthman, he asked Muhammad, please, for my sake, don't kill him. And then the guy, he converted to Islam back in order to stay alive. And then after that, they say that he became a good Muslim. So how the verse says we will never accept the repentance of anyone who uh, uh, who do this to Muhammad, who say that I invented the same as he invented, yeah. and then he allow him to come back to Islam and to be a Muslim. So it's false prophecy about the person saying we will never forgive to, to him, and here we go, he go back to Islam. Mm. But the most important about this story here, that this guy who worked as a scribe, for Muhammad, he got Muhammad busted. Yeah. And this actually, is actually what the what the, what the what the what the chapter is saying. This is what happened. If you wanna uh, claim to be a prophet, you better not to have a writer for you because he will get you busted. You know your secret now. Yeah. Same story about Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan, he was the enemy of Muhammad. Abu Sufyan, yeah, I have him. And Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran about him. Allah promised him punishment, etc. Right later, uh, Abu Sufyan got paid by Muhammad and he converted to Islam. He gave him 100 camel. Abu Sufyan chapter, no? right? It's in the end. Somewhere. And I, I was always uh, wondering why Allah have to send chapter for him only. You see, uh, there's many verses actually about, about Abu Sufyan's story. As an example, when Muhammad, he said, uh, like he said, um, a dream uh, that the the people of Quraysh they will be little as army to face him. But when when the Muslim they went to, they went to fight the Quraysh people, they found that their number is uh, out their numbers. So Muhammad he got himself busted. And actually, even Omar he said, uh, mm -hmm. uh, when when this has happened, I became suspicious about Muhammad being a prophet. Because he told them that he saw an, a, a dream that, yeah. uh, 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 like, let me let me show you the, you know, I'm trying to remember which verse is that. Uh, you know, sometimes it's not easy to remember everything, especially when you, need, right. when you need it in the spot right away in your head. But I think it is this one, let us see. Yeah, chapter 8, verse number 43. Here, chapter here, Muhammad, here Muhammad, he claimed that he saw a dream, a vision from Allah. Remember, if the dream Allah showed them to these as if you. <laughs> so Allah, he showed Muhammad in the dream, in the vision, that the enemy will be few. But the Muslim, they went there, they found them, they are not a few, they are the few. It was the Muslims who are the few. So Muhammad, he got himself busted again. False prophecy, he just told them, Allah, he told me in the dream and he gave them Quran. This is cannot be just a statement hadith. This is Quran as you see Yeah, you know So he promised them victory 
and he's saying to them well I prom you know I saw in the dream that uh, there are a few but they want they went to the to the to the battle and they found that they are not a few and the Muslims they got they, they got busted <laughs> you know when I say to yeah. you I saw a vision and not only that I give you a Quran about it if you go to this one chapter 8 verse number 43 to the book of Asbab al Nuzul. 843 let us see what the Muslim will say about it here let's go to English all right remember when God showed them to you in the dream in your sleep few as if you and you so informed your companion of this they were delighted and had he shown them to you as many you would flatter the shrunk so what Muhammad is making an excuse that Allah he showed the Muhammad <laughs> that they are a few but they are in fact they are not a few the why he showed them they are a few Muhammad he's trying to to explain why he was a liar uh, the reason I told you that Allah he showed me the few because if I if I told you there are too many you will be you will be terrified so Allah showed him a false vision okay you know what I'm saying it's like you know you you go to the fight and you told me like you told me in the dream you you, you saw only few will be there but they are like twice or three times more than us so then mm -hmm. I, I I make a verse for you saying oh well Allah told me now that if he show me that they are uh, too many and I tell you that you will be scared so Allah, He showed me there are too few, so you will not be scared. How stupid the answer is! Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> if Allah He showed them there are a few, how come it's not a few? So this is a false vision. Yeah, that's what I'm saying now. There are a lot of things which are not, you know, making sense and not matching up. It's like. It's like some kind of a, I don't know, I'm, I'll be using this word rightly or not. That's some, you know, like people manipulate some people like who are uneducated and all. It seems like that Muhammad had the same kind of personality. Well, obviously here, you see, if, if I say to you, I am a prophet and God showed me a vision and then the vision come to be false. Isn't it? This is a false prophet. Yeah. And like there was a verse in. Quran that which uh, you are not killing a person uh, Allah is killing it yeah now this is uh, I mean this is just to make them not to feel guilty about about killing others you know what do you uh, mean here? Like, you when know, Allah showed them into them. the oh Muhammad you in your dream on the day of Badr a few as number and if he had showed them to the to thee as many you Muslim you would have a flattered so Allah he gave Muhammad a false vision <laughs> Muhammad here trying to cover his himself. He got busted. He told them there will be few, but it was too many. So now he made a, a false verse saying, Oh Allah, he said to me, Yes, if, the reason he told me to tell you it's a few. I saw it in the dream. Because if I tell you the truth, you will be scared. Yeah. So, my friend, did you decide to leave Islam today? Actually, I uh, if we can say I'm I'm already out of Islam because I have even stopped saying peace be upon him on Muhammad that's wonderful so now as awesome. long you decide to leave Islam so you decide you, you accept that Muhammad is a false prophet correct actually I have already I, it's uh, I can say 95 percent I'm I am uh, you know out of it that is why I called you because I think you can you can clear my doubts more if you yeah I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to help you there's uh, there's something more you want me to help you with because I want you either yeah. to say I am out of Islam or if you have something else to help you, I will help you. No problem. Yeah, no, actually, I can say I'm uh, almost out of Islam. Wonderful, I, I my friend. Wonderful. Uh, so don't say almost. Don't say the word almost. Say I am out of Islam. Let me hear it. Yeah, okay. You can say that I'm out of Islam. Wonderful. Wonderful. My friend, for me, my name is a Christian prince and you know that. And I would like to invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. What do you say? yeah that's that's right all right but actually thing is this that i'm i'm always you know uh, i have been you know born and grown up as a muslim 
and i felt like cheated no you know, this is not this is not cheating you are, are you are you do you feel that you are cheating if you are leaving the devil you are leaving the devil you are leaving the false prophet there's nothing no cheating here i'm cheated that i i have been cheated all my life that i, I was i was believing in allah and muhammad as, uh, all my life that he is the true so i'm felt uh, so i cannot accept any any other religion without you know studying about it more and no problem yeah, yeah. I, I i agree with you you should not accept anything but the, can you find someone better than the Messiah to follow, my friend? Do you have Actually, something more convincing? Actually, I was going through, uh, some philosophies also, and I came to know about reincarnation. And okay. I that that reincarnation uh, stories also make me skeptic about Islam, because uh, according to Islam, we we die and we stay in graves till judgment day, but. There are there are millions of stories of reincarnation which completely uh, you know uh, refuses uh, or you can say uh, uh, claims for uh, false false that we go to hell, hell or heaven or we stay in graves. There is something it's it's soul or conscious or whatever which reincarnate in uh, other bodies. Hmm. So, uh, what, so what 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 uh, what do you mean by reincarnation? I think it's a good idea to believe that there's you know by the way. Uh, incarnation is something like uh, even Christianity we believe that when we go to heaven we will have different uh, body and different nature so you can say that reincarnation if you uh, as, a, as a philosophy uh, we believe as an example that God he came to us as a man uh, uh, I'm you know? not talking about philosophy actually I'm uh, I have I have studied about it uh, from religious point of view actually I'm from India hmm. and uh, I have Hindus on my, on my side and it's also a Buddhist belief Hmm. So reincarnation is not something new to me, but it was uh, when I searched about it. Uh, then I found that it's scientific uh, research done by some doctors, hmm. and they claimed that yes, reincarnation is real. Then I saw some documentaries. What do you mean in reincarnation? That means that a human being he come back as different creature, as the Hindu believe. Yeah, and they and they remember the past lives and uh, the the birthmark we have. Yeah, you no, know, you know, you see, for me, I don't believe in those things, uh, but there is there yeah. is you see sometime. Uh, like you might go to a place and you remember, like you feel like you've been there before, right? But this is have nothing. No, to, this uh, is, this is have nothing to do with reincarnation. This is not true. You know, this this, this is not true. This is not true. You know, uh, 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 actually, it's not even it's not even just to to believe in this uh, reincarnation because if God when I when I when I reward somebody. Uh, like okay, uh, according to the Hindu, if you, uh, if 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 the God will to reward you and you were a good person, what he will make you in the second life? Let me tell you something. I, I I'm not I'm not buying the st stuff which uh, uh, these people are telling Hindus and Buddhists. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying that. I have done my research and it was done by Doctor Ian Stevenson. Okay. And um, and uh, there are other doctors also who have done the research and they have researched around thousands of cases. And they have concluded that uh, anything else, but these people are not lying or something. My friend, I, I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe in this because people they can sometimes, uh, you see, uh, you hear about the global warming, and they are done by scientists, and later we discover that because they are trying to collect donation, they were scaring everybody, so people they keep donating to their organi organization uh uh to make the whole world fear that uh global warming would destroy us and this is the way we can uh, keep in business so there's many people they fabricate stories and fabricated studies the same you know the, the first job i did in my life it was in a newspaper uh, to correct arabic words uh i am not i wasn't a writer i was just uh, i just you know in uh, like uh, 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 like the first job i was doing my law degree and then for three months we have articles you know for three four month articles about how bad the coffee how disgusting the coffee how crazy the coffee would cause you cancer will cause you blah 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 will cause you etc and then suddenly the coffee became the best one and tea became the enemy so it was the for for a few months tea is the solution for everything coffee is the enemy and then it switched upside down why because the editor of the newspaper he received a big check the newspaper from tea company so now they start fabricating articles about the studies made about tea and how healthy it is how it's going to string your heart how etc so 
uh, uh, you know, so when when you pay them money, they make the tea your enemy. When you pay them money, they make the tea your friend. The same for the coffee. So there is many what it's called scientific studies. We cannot trust it really to be true. For me, okay, okay. I, I believe this is this is fiction because you see, first of first of all, as long the the idea of incarnation of a human being coming back to life, and you know, that means it should happen to me and to you too, not only for a few. Correct. Yeah. That that's what that uh, uh okay that, i don't remember uh, even I, I don't said. even remember what uh, what uh, what i ate last week so so <laughs> this is this is <laughs> you know this is this is a you know this is there's nothing called some cases either this is happening for all of us or this doesn't happen some cases this is this is funny and it's not real anyway my friend there's many people trying to call but i invite you and the lord is my witness mm -hmm. to accept the messiah to be your savior feel free anytime if you have a question you like to ask me you can call me and i would be happy to hear you but still, before you go, I, I say to you again: Do you feel like you want to accept the Messiah as your savior before you go? No, sorry, but uh, I have to know. You know, you you understand. You have I understand. No, I'm not going to force you, my friend. I'm, I'm just asking you. No problem. It's all right, my friend. Feel free to call me again when you wish. All right. So okay, you, uh, you 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 want to hang up now? Because, uh, because I, have I, I have a Muslim trying to call me. Let me let me hear the Muslim, please. Okay. Hold okay. on. Hello. Hello. Hey, Abdul. How are you? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil you see your Muslim brother, he left Islam, my brother. Are you going to leave Islam too? Sorry? The, the the previous caller before you, he's from India. He's a Muslim who left Islam. He just left Islam. Did you hear? What he did? He left Islam, my friend, just now. Oh, listen, the people, listen, there is like, there's Christians that leave Christianity. There's no Jews that leave Judaism. There yeah. are people, Muslim who leave did Islam. Did, you know Muhammad, did Muhammad leave Islam? Never. He's a, he, why would he leave Islam? So why your Quran says that Muhammad, he been ordered by Allah to go and ask Christian Prince if he is a prophet or not? Christian Prince, you're a prophet? No, he asked me to come to ask me as a Christian Prince, not as a prophet. He is supposed to be a prophet, but yet he have to come and ask me if he's a prophet ask or you. not. Ask you. How, how, when did he came to you? Here we go. The Quran says he came to me. Isn't no, it the Quran no, 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 says? The Quran came to you? Huh? You're such a liar. Listen first. Don't 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 make up stuff by your own own self. Okay? Here we go. The Quran in front you, of us. The Quran in front put, of us. Put, put chapter ten. Chapter more, more uh, chapter ten. Verse number ninety four. Read it. Listen. The, oh, I don't know. You listen. No, you listen. Like, what? Listen. Why you're oh, a prophet? Oh, why like you're a prophet? We just we just read the why we just read the ayahs and verses and that's it. Boom boom. Why boom, you're no. a prophet? He ordered. Is based on. Is based on context. Okay, no there is a history behind. Okay, tell me the history. Ayah. Tell me the history. Why Allah He said to Muhammad, "If you have a doubt about you being a prophet, first receiving first, Quran from me, go and ask Christian Prince." Which you mentioned to me that why you asked me a question, he left Islam, right? So I have to. I didn't finish my answer to you. No problem. Okay. So there, there is Christians that leave Christianity, right? Okay. Is it? Yeah. There is right. Yeah. Okay. There is Muslim that will leave Islam. You know. Uh huh. Is it there? Mm -hmm. There are Jews that will leave Judaism, isn't there? And there are, of course, mm -hmm. in every single. But at the end of the time, right? At, at the end of the day, you, as you, as as I am telling them, oh, my religion is better. As you are telling them, your religion is better, right? And Jew, Jews are telling them their religion is better, right? Mm. Isn't it? No, I'm not saying that. No. Of course, you are saying that to them. No, I'm not saying that. I am saying, I'm saying that Islam is a is a, is a super cult, stupid cult, violence cult, hateful cult. I'm not saying my is how, better than you. No, first, listen. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll speak about all those things. That how how is it? I'm gonna ask you questions about how is it? How how is it violent? How is it stupid? You know, because you're you're so smart than Quran, than Allah, than and our than our prophets. You know, peace be upon them. You know, let's see. We'll, we'll see about that too. You know, step by step, we'll take it. You know. Okay. As will not, you know, will not interrupt each other. As I was saying, that if you if you see what's the basics, why why are the people that are leaving Islam? You know, you know the reasons for that. Because Muhammad is leaving, because Muhammad himself uh, really because Muhammad him, Muhammad himself he don't believe Islam. Read with me here, with chapter ten, verse number ninety four. It says that Muhammad he have a doubt about himself being a prophet, and he, Allah he told him, go and ask Christian prince if you are a prophet or not. I'm not making not, things up. It's in front of you. You're not. You're not the one. Who is You're the who is the one? Who is the one? We, we got We I have to go back and check all the ISS. Check. The here we go. Okay. Check. Here we go. Check. 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 Okay. Go. Go. Check. Check. Now. Now. Why? 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 I have to go. Why I have to? Now. 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 Chapter ten, verse number four. I'm. I'm listening. Listen, go ahead. Al Quran. Al Quran is not that. 
this is you know it's not just a book that you just go no nah, problem nah, 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 no problem read them versus before read them versus uh, my friend i am giving you your my friend i'm giving you your freedom to read stop talking okay, i'm giving you please i'm just saying to you answer it i don't tell you read verse, one verse or two verse read as many you want read for me and answer please go ahead why allah he said to him if you have a doubt about what we revealed to thee go and ask the christians why First, you got you gotta go read the verse before that. The verse, the Quranic word. Uh, read, the, read. Okay. Uh, go ahead, read. You read ten verses before. Read, read, read ten verses. Read go show show you, the tie to the people before that. Okay, here we go. And let me show you the verses before. Here we go. So what is the verse about? It's reading? talking about the Jews. Okay. What does it say? It says, uh, uh, you know, uh, we settle the children of Israel in a beautiful uh, dwelling place and provide for them the substance of the best. And after the knowledge had been granted to them. Uh, that they fail into uh, shizism uh, verily Allah will judge between uh, them uh, as uh, you know the then they, they did in the judgment day there's no connection between the verse before and the verse after it where is this connection there's okay. Quran is always connected there's always okay, connect connect there's go always ahead connection. my friend why you keep a blabbering why you don't go straight to the answer I'm, I'm not blabbling. Listen. Okay, then give me the answer. I'm, you know, I, I, I'm, giving, you know, by the I'm, time I'm you give me an answer. Time. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Costco. I'm going to go to Costco. Do some shopping and come back. And I will come back. And I assure you, still you did not answer yet. Are you going to answer? I keep repeating this for the last twenty minutes. What is the reason, Muhammad? He don't believe is a prophet. Please go ahead and answer. Listen, listen. Read, read. If you really go to the Shan of Nuzul, right? The Shan of Nuzul. Of which, why every single ayah, hmm. where every single verse of Quran has been revealed to Muhammad, isn't it the, upon him. Isn't it the same one I showed you yesterday that Muhammad received? You, you, you look how hypocrite you are. I showed you the I'm same not, book. I showed you the same book yesterday. You said to me you don't believe in it. Okay. I showed you the same book yesterday. Yesterday. Shut up. Shut up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You cannot talk in the same time. We can't talk in the same time. Isn't isn't it me who showed you yesterday that Muhammad received Quran during the pupu time, and this is from the same book. So now you, you said yesterday, I don't believe in it. Now you are saying to me, go and read from there. Listen first, you, you, you're you making up stuff. And, and Let us see this guy. Yes, hello. Hello. Your connection is not good. You want to call me? What, what I can do with you? Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Are you a Muslim? I just want you. Sorry. Yes, I'm a Muslim. Okay. What does that mean? Sorry. What does that mean to be a Muslim? To be in complete submission to God. Where Where do you get this definition from? From the word Islam. No, no. Where Where do you get the word Islam means submission to God? Can you show me? Sorry, I don't understand. I, well, I didn't call I, for this person. I asked I you, know no, you. no, no problem. You see, but in order to have a conversation, you say to me, I'm a Muslim, but obviously you do not know what Muslim mean. I never heard anywhere it says that to be a Muslim, it is to be submitted to God. Where do you get this yes, from? Yes, because because what is what does Muslim mean? Uh, uh, Islam means surrender. Aslam to Islam. Islam no, means to surrender. What does mean? Islam means surrender. Yes. Okay. And Muslim means surrender. Yeah, and surrender. Muslim surrender is not submit. This is different. Surrender is in a war time where somebody forces you to be uh, to be surrender to him, not like submission. Submission is something you do willingly. What does what does Islam has and Muslim have in common? What they as have? Self, they kiss right? a black stone. Salam. They kiss a black stone. They hate the Christian and the Jews and the Hindus and the atheists. They want to kill them all. Why? I don't know why you're jumping from one topic to the next. You are the one who said to me what the Muslims have in common. I said to you, all of them they have in common hatred. Violence. No, no, I didn't say that. Kidding. You, you, said, you said to me, okay, repeat again. So, sorry, maybe I, I got no, you no, wrong. I, yeah, no, I, I said I said that what does the word Islam and the word Muslim have in common? That you surrender to the cult of Islam, to the sword of Muhammad. Muhammad, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind unless they come and they say I am a prophet. No, no, you're taking it the wrong way. Okay, you tell me. Here we go. Here we go. The hate in front yeah. of you on the screen. Uh, then Jesus said that I have not come to restore peace, but I have come with a sword. What no, pro mean? no problem. Read the verses after that, and you will see that Jesus is talking about that we will be killed, not he will kill us, not not, okay. not we will kill you. That that yeah. Jesus he said time will come and people will be thinking by killing you, doing a favor to God. It's not us we will kill. Did Jesus kill anyone? Okay. By the way, um, by the way, by the way, by the way, did Jesus kill anyone? By the way, any followers? Did Jesus kill anyone? By the way, he couldn't. 
Okay. No, he could not. Him. Why? Killing is very easy. How? Well, when 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 they when they came to arrest him, Peter, he took his sword and he cut the ear of the of, of the soldier. Jesus, he told him, the one who lived by the sword, die by the sword, and he put the ear of the uh, of the soldier back to his his head. So Jesus, not yes. only not only he stopped his man from killing somebody, even he healed that man who is coming to hurt Jesus and arrest him and take him to be crucified. So now I ask you. Did your prophet says? Did your did your prophet says? I've been commanded to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam. Yes or no? Okay. Okay. I don't even know what the topic is anymore because you're you're jumping so much. Which okay. was the topic again? No problem. We go back to the topic. The topic is prophet was a, uh, with a false prophecy. Do you have any prophecy, Muhammad? He said is true. Yeah. The the prophecy of the um, of his uncle, About which what? is mentioned in Quran. Hmm. I like yeah. this one. Okay. Yeah. What is the prophecy this one is talking about? The prophecy means that he will die as a copper. Really? It says that? Yeah, that's what it means. Okay, let us go and see. Do you remember, do you know, you remember somebody, his name is uh, Abu Sufyan? Yes. Okay. Isn't it the Quran says a verse about him too, that he is going to be punished by Allah and he is a kafir? No, it doesn't say about him. By okay. the way, the earlier don't the earlier don't change topic. Day, okay, no, no, I'm not, no, you okay. just mentioned this before just now. You mentioned this just now. Mm. That's why I heard this and I called. Okay, you mentioned a verse of, of a man who be, who actually um who actually was a Muslim, right? Mm. And then he later mm. left Islam, mm. right? And then he went back to Mecca and he said that such and such happened, and then I made a verse and then he accepted it, right? Mm. Something like that. Mm. Actually, this man converted to Islam. Mm. During the time of Medina, because we have an authentic source mm. where it clearly says that he he became a Muslim after the Battle of Badr, mm. and 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 we know for a fact that this ayah came mm. at the time in Makkah, mm. so it cannot apply to him. No, it can apply for him, my friend, because simply oh. this guy he left Islam and he ran away. Do you think he will stay with Muhammad after he convert after he left Islam? You are naive, my friend. Secondly, when you say it does not apply for him, then you have to, to, to explain the, the interpretation. When I show interpretation, this is your interpretation by your scholars. So don't say to me, it does not apply to him. Who are you to say so? You are there? But, 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 but the only problem with your interpretation is that mm -hmm. you this, can take a... First of all, this is not my interpretation. This is your okay, scholar's I, interpretation. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm explaining it. All right. The scholar can really not know about it. So how, you, how you know? How you your scholar yeah. making a mistake? Because he could have, because because a lot of hadiths we have our sciences improved. We can now tell what hadith was came in what time, and it wasn't available to everyone. That's why. Okay, so so uh, okay, so you know you know how, and the scholars do not know how you because you are smart. You do not know. And now let me ask you: as oh, long as the story, okay, but the story is documented that this guy he said to to, to the prophet he do not know what he's talking about. He say as you don't Hakim, I say etc. He accept what I say. So if he is a prophet, I am a prophet too, and he left Islam. This is a documented story by Muslim scholars, and this is a true story. Why yes, this guy? Why yes, this guy? But the, but the, yeah, okay. Why this but guy? The, he said Muhammad is a false prophet. Because just like you say, it doesn't make him a false prophet. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. Just like you saying he's a false prophet doesn't make him a false okay. prophet. Okay. Did did you did you as long you were watching? Did you see the the the, the verse where Muhammad he saw a dream? And he told them, I saw in the dream that the enemy, the enemy will be few. No, I don't know. I don't know the interpretation. I haven't read about it, so I can't talk about it right now. So why not? Because I don't know about it. Well, if if he, if if you have I, a prophecy, my friend, if he, if if your prophet is a prophet and he prophesy about Abu Jahl as you claim, right? Then his prophecy should fit everywhere, not only in one case. I can say one thousand lie, one of them come to be true. And then that or not doesn't make me a prophet. It's so, it's so sad that you, you know, did so much research on Islam, but you can understand Islam. Well, you are the one who understands Islam. Explain to me how Muhammad he said to them, I saw in my dream that your enemy will be few, and they went to the battle and they found them that there are a lot. As I said, so, as I said, I haven't done research on this particular verse. It says that By in the way, front of you, it says that that Allah he showed them in the dream that they are a few and go and read the interpretation. They went to the fight and they found that they are not a few. So, so who is the one who is the one who showed this vision to Muhammad? Allah? Yes, Allah says to is Allah. Remember when Allah in, in the dream, Allah showed you. So how Allah he showed him that they are going to be too many, but the the, the few, but when they want to fight, they found them too many. Were Muslims accompanied by angels? 
in their fight. They my friend, my friend, who care about who is no, no, they are not. Uh, they lost, they lost. They lost. My friend, they lost. They lost. They lost. They lost. My friend, they lost. There is two better. There is better Cobra. There is better Cobra. There is better Sora. Don't play games. Secondly, so, so second, you secondly, you hold on. Let, let me show you. Let me show you. you. Are the one who said, "Isn't it the the, the angels uh, fighting with you?" Did you say that a second ago? Did you say the angels fighting yeah, with you? This isn't, uh, this isn't crying in the battle, brother. I my don't friend, know which my, you're my friend. There is there is two. Exactly there is two. There is two battle. Listen. Did you say a second ago that the angels fight with you? Yes, in Quran it says that. Okay. That they will come. All right. Angels. So how do you explain to me this uh, this verse? In the Quran, in the chapter of Al-Anfal, Muhammad he told them in chapter eight, verse number sixty-five and sixty-six. We are not jumping. We are in the same topic about Muhammad being a false prophet. Oh, prophet! Oh, prophet! Hold on, listen. Here we go. This is a prophecy. This is a prophecy. Muhammad he prophesied that one hundred of you can fight two, uh, 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 one thousand, and two hundred can fight two thousand. Then the Muslims they came back and they got busted. So Allah, he said to them, now has Allah lightened your burden for he knew that you have a weakness. So 100 can fight 200. So, so, so if 100 can fight 1,000 to 100 can fight 200, what happened? If the angels are fighting with me, who cares about how many they are? Look, you're talking about, okay, okay, tell me this. Did not Muslim conquer most of the known world? My friend, it's not Muhammad who conquered and the Muslim, they never conquer anything. The the the, the the whole world was collapsing. The, the the Persian and the and the Roman they were fighting each other for the last three hundred years. And here we go. You Muslims oh. are conquered yourself. All of you are occupied oh. by America. The 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 oh. the the, the, oh. the, the, Amer the, Amer the American colonies all over Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Bahrain, Emirat, you name it. Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria. The American army okay. in every place in the Islamic world in Turkey. So don't tell me now. Yeah. Let me ask you. Don't change the topic. Yeah. Here we go. In the lifetime of Muhammad, Muhammad he took his army to fight the Roman. Did he conquer the Roman, or he came back and his ass is red? Okay. okay. No, no, no. He went to a he went to a battle and the enemy ran away. Where, what That's enemy ran away? He, nobody ran away. You are a coward. If they ran away, he would chase them. <laughs> My friend, he went to Tabuk. He went to Tabuk. He did not fight anyone. What are you talking about? It is him who came back. If 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 the enemy ran away, he will continue. Now listen, listen. Explain to me what kind of God he promised you victory. If one hundred can fight one one thousand, and then right away he says, now Allah he knows. Now he found that you have a weakness. Allah do not know yesterday that they have a weakness. See, as I said, you're misquoting things. You don't understand the verses. Okay, That's explain to me. Here we go. You are here. Explain to me. Go ahead. I'm listening. Am I? Am I a scholar? You're talking to. So, so why you are calling me? Here we go. He's a scholar. No, so, no, so you are misquoting. How you know I am misquoting? How you know is I am misquoting? But you do not know even yourself what the verse means. How you decide in a second that I am misquoting? You are. You are. You are a genius. You ask me a question. Can I ask you a question too? What you want to ask me now? We we, need, we have a problem. We have a problem. You see how you decide I am misquoting. How you made a decision that I am misquoting? Because you misquoted the first one. You did not and answer about the first one. Here we go. Did you show yes. me a reference? Did you show me a reference? Yes, it's about the Abdullah part. I told you. Where? Where? No, you showed me. No, I showed you the reference. You did not show me a reference. I am the one who showed you I, your scholar saying I this is about Abdullah Mustarah. Hold on, I can show the reference. Stay on the phone. Hmm? Um, well, one second. <laughs> Go to islamicawareness.org. Islamic what? The you see the give me the name of the interpretation give me the name of the interpretation what interpretation you want me to go to sorry give me the name of the interpretation which interpretation you like me to go to because i'm on a phone so it's hard for me to go back and forth okay i will give you 10 hours to call me back go who is a muslim abdul wanna call me you're a prophet is a false prophet approving left and right he is a big fat prophet Fat with lies. I show reference, you don't show nothing. You give me speeches, you call me names. But you cannot prove me wrong. Hmm?
The Quran even says that Ibn Abi Sufyan he will go to hell. And let Abu Sufyan later, Muhammad, he paid him 100 camel, him and his family, each one of them 100 camel, and he converted to Islam because this man he liked money. And then Abu Sufyan took over Islam. And the one who conquered other countries, it was not Muhammad, it was Abu Sufyan and his family. A bunch of criminals, Muhammad, he hired them for the perfect job. Muhammad could not fight them. He could not win against them. So he said to himself, okay, let us make a verse for them. He says, al -mu'allafa qulubahum. What is al -mu'allafa qulubahum? Hmm? People who don't believe what be high, but be buy him by money. You, have you ever heard of something like this before? Yes, Abus. Are you there, Abus? Abus, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, yeah, we hear you. Yeah, the topic of today is uh, the prophecies of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. Right, right. Yeah, so I'm going to give you a prophecy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All right. But ironically, you are the one who proved that prophecy right. Let us see. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a first uh, statement, then I'll prove the prophecy. You always say these things, correct me if I'm wrong, hmm. that we have bring you things that Muslims did not know before. Hmm. Since the internet came along, a lot of things comes out which Muslims never knew before. Right. Is that right? No problem. Go ahead. Yes. Now, the Muhammad Salasan prophecy, of, uh, of Sahih, Sahih Muslim, okay. if you know the Muqaddama of Muslim, mm. Hadith number 15. Can you give me the link so yeah. we can put it in the screen so everybody can see it, please? Don't you, don't you have a Sahih Muslim with you? No, no, you give me the link you want to show me, a translation of your choice. You tell me, what is that? I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the reference. No problem. Give me no. I want to I wanna post you. What are you reading for us? You see, I'm, uh, look, how, look how friendly okay. I am. I'm, I'm trying to help you. To show the evidence you provide, go ahead and give it to me, please. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Is you a link? Yeah, give me a link. I will open it and I will show it in the screen. No, no, no I, I'm, I'm giving you the reference. The Sahih Muslim. If you open Sahih Muslim, Hadith number fifteen, the Muqaddimah of Mus, uh, Muslim. Sahih Muslim I, I Hadith number fifteen. Let us see if we can find such a thing in the internet like this by by seeing the Sahih because the numbers of uh, on Sahih Muslims are different from place to place. So Sahih. So he Muslim. Muslim. Hadith, number Hadith number 15 that said there's no number of a book. Uh, but the first book <laughs> is an introduction in the Muqaddimah of Muslim. You don't uh, you know the Muqaddimah of Muslim. No, I do not know. You tell me. You tell me. What is that Muqaddimah? The Sahih Muslim, when it starts, first uh. 93 Hadiths are the introduction of the Muslim. He's telling you authentic Hadiths from non authentic Hadiths. What can be trusted? This is, he, this is his Muqaddimah. In that Muqaddimah, the very fifth, the number 15 Hadiths. Which I'm going to read it to you right now. This. This is the first book you mean, right? It's uh, uh, narrated by narrated by Abu Hurairah. Sorry. Hmm. You are saying this is the first book. Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. Do you see? You see my screen? Yeah. You see my open screen from the before the before the first book. Oh, you open introduction. The introduction. Okay. The introduction. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Introduction. And. And this is the prophecy about people like you. Mm. Fits perfectly, hundred percent perfectly. Mm. I'm gonna read the hadith. Okay. You want me to read it? Go ahead, read it for us. <laughs> but there will be in the end of time charlatan liars. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't hear it. Say again. Say again. Say again. There will be in the end of time charlatan liars coming coming to you with narrations that you nor your fathers heard. So beware of them. Lest they misguide you and cause you tribulations. What do you think about that? Doesn't it fit on you? That's amazing because you know your prophet. He's saying that he is a false prophet again, because he is the oh, one who not. made narration and he is the one who explained the hadith as an example. Your prophet, when he said, you know, I, I want you to focus on me. You are the one who mentioned the hadith about liars who give interpretation, which you never heard before. Correct. That's right. Which okay. you and your father never heard before. Okay, no problem. You and your father never heard before. Okay. 
Here we go. You are the one who said that we've been hadith spoken to before. Hold on, hold on, okay. Hold on, hold on, okay, okay. When the Muslims, when Muhammad, he said Saqar, and the Muslims, they said to him, what Saqar? He said to them, this is a hellfire. So they and their father, they never heard of it. What are you talking about? Saqar. Do you know what Saqar? No, he's not saying that uh, from me. I'm saying it. It he doesn't matter. Who never, okay. Time, when when you're a prophet, he, he will go. Different, different one. Time. He's the, not, uh, hold on. When you're, when you're a prophet, he said, uh, uh, you're, you're hold on, panicking. hold on. You, 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 got your, you got your prophet busted. You and your father no, never no, heard you, of it because I am not the one explaining this to, to you. It's your prophet and your, your scholars explaining. Thank you very much. Oh. So you're a prophet, he said, <laughs> as an example. Look at this. You and your father before never heard of that before. They said to him, Al Mugarribun. They said to him, Who's Al Mugarribun? He said, The homosexual. They never heard of it, never heard of a word. It's called Mugarribun. He's fabricating stuff. Woman, Hum Al Mugarribun. He said, The homosexual. So here we go. They never heard it before, and their father never heard the word before. And this is Al Mugarribun. So, what kind of a prophet? You're... So, you are the one who said to me that the false ones will come to you with a false interpretation, false word you never heard of before, you and your father. And that's exactly what your prophet he came with. Can I answer? Yes. First of all, you're panicking very badly. Everybody can realize that. <laughs> Secondly, he's not talking about interpretation there. Mm? He's not talking about the questions you never heard the questions before. He never he didn't say the questions you never heard before. Mm. If, you, if he says something, then the people asking him questions. He's not he's talking about he's talking about narrations. He's talking about narration. No problem. Here we go in narration. This is narration, isn't it? Narration. You're saying it. People say something. He says something. He says, "Oh, no, we never heard this word before." He's not, he's not talking my about friend, my here. friend. He's talking about himself. Okay, hold on, hold on. If we if we ask a Muslim today, what is the interpretation of Muhammad saying, "Whoever come first, the baby will be a boy, if he's a man, and if the women come first, the baby will be a girl," and they start adding him a chromosome. Is in the hadith there's a chromosome? No. So it is you, Muslim, who fabricate and add the stuff, and your prophet is making prophecy maybe about you. But that does not change the fact that he's a liar too. Because if a woman have orgasm first or the man have orgasm first, that, that would not change the fact, that would not change the gender, and would not change the look. How you explain to me your prophet being a false prophet here? And you are the one who mentioned to me Sahih Muslim, correct? Yeah. Okay. As long as you agree with Sahih Muslim, and you start your refuting me from Sahih Muslim, so how you Sahih Muslim say such a stupid thing? Read with me. Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. Are you changing? Are you changing the topic? No, we are not. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. Let us see if you heard this before. If topic, nobody yeah. heard this before, not me, not my but father, not you, anywhere, not me. Before you go anywhere, I like what to answer can, you. What kind? No, don't, don't answer me. Don't change the topic. What kind of a prophet? He says, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Abdul, this is this is a false prophecy. Your prophet claimed to be Doctor Muhammad now, and his God, he told him how the baby is made. So he says to you, a woman, she came to Muhammad and she saw a dream. She is touching her vagina and she came to Muhammad because Muhammad is a specialist in vagina touching. She said to him, what will happen to a woman if she saw a dream like the man do? Muhammad, he said to her, if she sees something there in her vagina, she have to wash. And then his wife, she said, does this happen? Because his wife, she never have orgasm before. She never witnessed such a thing. So it's new for her. And then he said to her, yes, yes. Otherwise, how can the child resemble her? What the leak within the vagina of the women have to do with the resemble of the child to the mother? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I don't know why you're going to that scientific uh, something which, which um, of course, my friend, is, you is are the one who quoted me for me from Sahih Muslim. I'm showing you from Sahih Muslim. Uh, let me answer you first. You said to me earlier, mm. you people are the one who fabricate things, you Muslims, yeah. Mm. So your prophet actually prophesying about you, not about like not about you, but about Muslims. My friend, my, my friend, my friend, show me in the hate where it says not Muslims is the one who is talking about. For, secondly, secondly, how a liar can can prophesy about liars? Here we go. I'm showing you he's a liar. He must be prophesying no, no, about himself liar. then, because he himself is a liar. Do you agree with this in the front of you on the screen? Do you agree with it? So you you misunderstanding. No, no, I understand. You, you agree with him. You, you either you say yes. If you say yes, explain. If you say no, explain. Go ahead. Are you saying prophesying? Why a liar prophesy about Muhammad? That's what he say. 
Abdul, Hadith didn't say Abdul, Sahab. what kind of a prophet he claimed Hadith that his God, what things. kind of a prophet he claimed that his God yeah. told him how the baby is made, and he claimed that the liquid, the yellow liquid in the vagina of the women is what make the baby resemble the mother. First of all, I gave you the Hadith. You are not arguing about the Hadith anymore. No, I, I'm, I, I, I show you that this is about you because I'm not showing you anything from my pocket. I never give interpretation and I give never explanation. I show Ibn Kathir, I show Al-Tabari, I show Al-Qurtubi, and I show the Hadith. And now here we go. I'm asking you for interpretation for this, not not me. Do this. That Hadith is talking about. Yeah. That's Hadith is talking about you bringing narration which nobody heard before, and you what are narration. This is your prophet. This is almost a narration, not me. Are you stupid or what? This is Sahih Muslim. This, the same book you gave me. You're the one who gave me Sahih Muslim. Now Sahih Muslim is never heard before. So can, suddenly, please. suddenly Sahih Muslim is me who made it. Can I say, calm down? Why are you panicking? Uh, we are not. Calm people down. are laughing. Look at this. Even people are making me for me donation now because of you. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you guys for doing donation because here we go. We got you a comedy show. The Muslim trying to defend Muhammad and he, and he looked like a joke because of the defense. Here we go. You choose for me Sahih Muslim. And this is Sahih you know Muslim. Why you donations. You know why you get donations? Why? Because you're going to have a heart attack soon, so you, you need a treatment. No problem. I must then he opened a chat room for me, asking Allah to give me a heart attack, and he died less than 24 hours. His name is Muslim Knight. Go and ask about him. Or, now, now, I now, now, now I am I asking you, die. hold on, hold on. Listen, here we go. Don't worry about what will happen to my heart. My heart is so strong, I'm so happy. Do you want to do Mubahara? Okay, I hope your heart is strong. I hope so. Okay, no, no I know I don't you want you to hope. I, I like to yeah, die. I don't I, care. I don't care. But I like to care. I care. I don't care for how long I will live. I care to live saying the truth. And now you are getting busted. Explain to us. It's in the front of you on the screen. If you're a prophet, is not a false prophet. How he says such a stupid thing? Okay. Uh, listen, I'm uh, I'm on the way home. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I am school. in the way home. I am in the way home. Suddenly, you are in the way home. Suddenly, he's going back to mommy. Suddenly, he's not a man. Suddenly, he do not know. Get lost. Don't call me again. Let your daddy call me. And suddenly, I'm going home now, brother. I'm going home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go and change your diaper. Either he is a prophet or he's not. This is a prophet. A woman, she have a leak within her vagina when she have orgasm. That will make me a baby resemble her. <laughs> true story. Very true story, brother. I mean, I am really convinced. But that's it. I'm going to take shahada. Where is shahada? I'm looking for my shahada. Oh, this is my shoe. Watch your heart, watch your heart. <laughs> Don't worry about my heart. Yes, Abdul, how are you? Do you hear me, Abdul? Hello? Hello, my brother Abdul. Before you call me, please, brother, say inshallah. Please, there's a prophet, a brother. He forgot to say inshallah. Allah, after having sex with 99 women, Allah gave him half a child just because he didn't say inshallah. Be careful, brother. Say inshallah before you call me. Let us go Zach and Naik and ask him what he think about the yellow, the yellow liquid. What do you think what Zach and Naik will say, Mr. Yellow Liquid? <coughs> hmm? Only if you are a Muslim, call me please. I will not accept calls from non-Muslims. Only if you are a Muslim. Only who was a brave Abdul? Obviously, your prophet is a scam. Ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum. 
Tadadam, tadadam. Tadadam, tadadam. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Dr. Zakir Naik. Is it me exactly the one you are talking to? And I'm very busy. <laughs> Don't you see why I'm talking to Dr. Zakir Naik? Show respect, man. I mean, for the sake of Zakir Naik. Uh, Brother Zakir Naik, uh, uh, how you explain to me that your prophet, he said, that the women and you are a doctor, especially you are a doctor. How you explain to me that he said that the women, if she have a yellow thing in her vagina, that what will make the baby resemble the parent or her. And you as a doctor, I think this is perfect for you to answer. First of all, I understand you and I know your tricks. Your name is the Christian Prince. You send your faith and you send your voice. And you think I'm not going to know you. As for the moment, Debril, he told me that it is you, Christian Prince. Can you deny that? Uh, no, I'm Christian Prince. You are right. I told you. I know you. Secondly, when the prophet, he said that it is the yellow in the vagina, that is something because the book is written in yellow paper. It's not because the word there is yellow. Uh, what? The book, the book, it's a very old book. It's yellow, yellow pages. So because the book is yellow, the pointer and the one who is printing it, they thought it is yellow. It doesn't say yellow. Uh -huh. So the prophet there, he did not say the word yellow? Absolutely. Is that because the papers are yellow? So it appears as it is yellow. So what is the color? In fact, there is no color. This is not true. The prophet was saying that the water of the man is thick and the glue of the women is Thin. A glue. There's a glue there. Absolutely. As an example, there's a glue. It's very famous. It's called the crazy glue, and you can buy it from anywhere, even from Amazon. That come. Crazy glue. Take the name. And the crazy glue is taken from there. Crazy glue is taken from women vagina. Are you sure? Absolutely. Don't you see women? They drive men crazy, and they glue them. How a woman she make you marry her? Because of the glue. And this is absolute scientifically correct. And this is how we can prove that Allah is all merciful and women are made by Allah. And it's extremely, extremely true. And it is scientific. Thank you, Rod. And don't call me again. Thank you very much. What? <laughs> what? what? The, the women there, they have what? Did I hear correctly uh, Zachar Naik saying that? I, c I can't believe it. Unbelievable. So the word yellow there, it was because of the yellow pages? I mean, Muhammad is super smart. Super genius. Super knowledgeable. Super prophet. How? How can a child resemble her? Huh? Huh? Isn't it because the women she have a thin and yellow liquid in her vagina? Me. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> if you feel like converting to Islam, don't miss the opportunity. Crazy glue is fighting is waiting for you. <laughs> And you know the funny, the Muslims are lined up. They want to call me to defeat me. And Christian Prince, why you are nervous? Uh huh. Why you are nervous, Christian Prince? Uh, me? Yeah. You are nervous. Uh, um, uh, mm, mm. <laughs> uh, I will have an attack from from laughing, my friend. Uh. <coughs> <laughs> um. <coughs> Can I call to talk about Solomon? No, 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 I want Muslims to call me, please. Uh, yeah, we want Muslims to call, please, if you don't mind. The reason we want Muslims to call because we want people to see the other side of the story and how silly, how stupid Islam is. They have big mouth speaking about amazing prophet, amazing Quran, amazing, amazing, but it is the most stupid book ever. 
Muhammad not only a false prophet it's a cartoon prophet the first cartoon prophet hello 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 oh uh, we need to recite Quran brother before make uh, make Skype work Bismillah <laughs> you know and they bring they bring someone for you his voice is nice so whatever he say is going to sound nice to you and that will make you believe the Quran is so nice my friend those people they have <laughs> they have a nice voice whatever they're saying is going to be good even it's going if it's going to be about poo poo you want to see how the Quran sound like go and listen to Mimi hijab when he was asking for a donation the Quran sound like garbage <clears throat> I want to make Quran. Any Abdul? Abdullah, slave of Allah. <clears throat> Proof in the Bible, Karid Yasin. Karid Yasin. They, they ask Karid Yasin. <laughs> Why the Prophet he marry Aisha? <laughs> he said, Allah, he showed him a dream that you have to marry Aisha. A prophet, the wicked, the prophet who is seeing a dream to have sex with a child. She is five years old. A wicked a prophet. Yes, Abdul. Hello. Yes, Abdul. How are you, Judas? Do what? Judas. Judas? What about him? The one who betrayed Jesus. Mm. Do you believe in the story of Judas? No, I don't. So why your prophet believe in it then? Um, let me ask you one question. No, 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 don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change, you, don't, don't change the topic. You open a key with me. We have to finish I, it. Don't, I, I don't, you, I, no, no, I don't accept. No, 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 please. You mentioned the word Judah and you said you don't believe in Judah. So why your prophet believe in Judah? Why did I say Judas? What if I show you that he do? Show me. If I show you what you will do. Nothing. Nothing. Let me ask. Hold on. Hold on. According to your prophet. If I show you Jesus as a man, you are a coward. You change topic. You cannot even stand for the topic you mentioned to me. Potato. Let your dad call me. If you are not a man enough. To talk about what you call me for, then don't continue. What if I show you that Jesus did not die? So let us say he did not die. Why you are calling me back? What? Why you are calling me back? Because I asked you because you don't want to answer me. Why you don't want to answer about what is in the screen? Are you ashamed of your prophet that he said that the women, her child resemble her because of a liquid in her vagina, it is yellow and thin. What? what? I can't see it. I was, why, why you cannot I was, see it? Why you cannot see it? Why you cannot see it? Because I'm on a phone. No problem. I will give you the link. Is that okay? I wanted. I wanted to talk about the other uh, words that you mentioned earlier. Hmm. What? And in which you said that call me back. How come? How, back how come? It. How come you can see that verse but you cannot see this one? No, no, because I wrote it down. You wrote what? The science. The science is called Ilmul Rijal. In one what? of the biggest reference in that field. Is Usud Ulgaba. What what what? By what, what are you talking about? What what what? In the entry concerning Abdullah ibn Saad. Okay. We find the following according to the science of Hadith. Mm. He converted to Islam before the Congress of Mecca mm. and immigrated to Prophet mm. in Medina. Correct. He used to recall revelation for mm. the Prophet mm. before he apostatized mm. and went back to Mecca. Okay. Then he told Quraysh, I used to orient Muhammad's. Wherever I will, he dictated to me all powerful, all wise, and I said, I said all knowing, all wise. So he would say, Yes, it is all the same. Perfect. Okay. So here you see a problem which you said the word, the ayah, came in the time of Makkah. However, it clearly says that this man converted to Islam later. 
Mm. What do you mean later? He converted to Islam again, yeah, after, my friend. After, no, after, no, after the battle of no, 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 my friend. He converted to Islam yeah. later. Later, he converted again. He was a Muslim. He became a scribe to Muhammad. He was with Muhammad, living actually almost all, all day long with him because he's a scribe. And then when they decide he got Muhammad busted that he's a false prophet, he ran away and he left Islam. And then he converted to Islam again. Yes, but what I'm saying is that the words does not talk about it because of that reason. My friend, my friend, you see, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you are trying to defend you, you, what you are talking about by fabricating your own story. But however, your scholars yeah. agree that this is about him and we cannot run away okay. from that. They, they say that it is about someone who forges, they, they make their own religion, like Paul, for instance, mm -hmm. you know, Paul, oh, did, you you know mention, Paul? did you mention Paul? Yeah, I, I think it's talking about anyone like Paul. Okay. You know, he made his own religion. Okay. So, uh, are you are you a man enough to stand up and to stand for what you just said about Paul? Yes. Okay. So, if I show you Paul is a messenger of Allah, what you will do? I do not agree. There's a messenger of Allah. If I show you that Paul is a messenger of Allah in Islam, what you will do? Show me in Quran. No problem. Quran and Tafsir is that the problem? No, not from Tafsir. I need the name. Why, because, not, you know, why not from Tafsir? What's wrong? Name. What's wrong with the Tafsir these days? I mean, why the second I say to you Tafsir, you, you, yeah, you can, because you can take any Tafsir from even from from someone who wasn't who didn't know anything about Islam. Anyone can write Tafsir. Okay, who is the one? Okay, who is the one? Hold on. Who is the one you accept him to be lawful to explain to us the Tafsir? Which what what Mufassir you follow? No, you you tell me you tell me the ayah and I can check. No, you don't. No, no, you don't check. I will get you busted. Because uh, like, uh, let, let, let us make it simple for you. Let, me, let us make it simple for you. You see, I'm going to shut you up. You are a coward, like your prophet. I want you to show me. I want you to show me one time first before I go and show you. One time, your prophet he said Paul is the one who corrupted Christianity. How come your prophet never says so? Because he's he's nothing. Paul is nothing. Paul is just a loser who's gonna burn in fire fire forever. Okay, Paul is nothing. Yeah. So so Muhammad he cannot say who is the one who corrupt Christianity. Everyone knows it's Paul. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows who is Paul. That is a joke. Your prophet do not yes. know because if he knew yes. why he did not mention it. Because we only talk about important people. What? If he does not talk about important if he, people, if he, Quran only talks about important people. Okay, let me ask Quran you. Let, okay, 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 let me ask you. Yeah. You're a prophet, he said, there's no prophet between me and the Isa. Do you agree with the hadith? Yes. Okay. The Quran says that, that there is a three messengers sent by Allah and they are the messengers of Jesus. Do you agree with the Quran? Messengers of Jesus? Yeah. The messengers could mean anything, could mean um, angels, could mean um like for instance paul i mean not paul for instance um what was his name john john okay john the back okay yeah. all right okay let us see first of all let us go and you know love together do you speak arabic my friend no i don't do you have somebody speak arabic he can help you no not right now no why what do you mean why why you don't have anyone right now right here why you cannot you don't have one person in your phone you can call him to join us no, I don't have anyone right now. Oh, that's that's sad. I mean, that's really bad. Okay, let us see yeah. then. Okay, if I asked you right now to read for me, uh, have you ever heard of Al Imam Al Lusi? Imam Al um, Al Lusi. Yeah, I've heard of him. Okay, is yeah, he? Yeah, Lusi. Under Lusi. Al Lusi. Al Lusi. Is he? Is he bad or good? I don't know. I've never read about him. Okay, he said that Paulus is the messenger of Allah and he is the messenger of Jesus. He probably made a mistake. Ah, okay, forget. About, okay, Quran. forget about him. Forget. I, I was going to show you uh, what he said, but okay. Did you hear about Tafsir Nuzam al No. Okay. Uh, did you show hear me, about? Show me. Did, did show me. Did you Ibn Kathir? Ibn Kathir. You want Ibn Kathir? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did he say Ibn Kathir? No, I'm asking you. Show no, me no. Ibn Kathir. Okay, but did, okay, but I'm saying, uh, are you sure you want Ibn Kathir? Yeah. So for if, this. so if we cannot find it, Ibn Kathir, you want to accept it? Only Ibn Kathir you like? Yep. Okay, guys. Sadly, how we can find this in Ibn Kathir? Can you call me a month from now so I can look for it in Ibn Kathir? Oh, Ibn Kathir. 
It's not an can you tell me? Can, can you tell me the Aya at least? Or are you gonna do but, a surprise but, thing my, again? But my friend, if uh, can, always can you, surprise, can you, surprise can you come? Can you come back after a month because I need to look for it? No, can you tell me the Aya? You know the Aya, right? But, but you don't I, know the Aya. I need, I need time, my friend. You are not giving me time, and this is like embarrassing. So, so, can you give me? So you are the smallest person, just like Judas. Okay, my friend. If I show it to you from Ibn Kathir, do you promise you to open your camera and do the monkey dance? Just like Judas. Just like Paul. Yeah, like like but Judas, like it? Judas. No problem. Like your like your prophet. Here we go. It's in the front Paul, of you. It's in the front of you from Ibn Kathir. It's in the front of you from Ibn Kathir. Paul was a liar, my friend. You're shut up! A liar. Shut up! You he said never to me, saw Jesus. Shut never up! You Jesus. said to me Ibn Kathir, and this is Ibn Kathir. Paul, you donkey. Here we go. Everybody, everybody, liar. Everybody is is laughing at you. Choose. You pick and choose tafsir. Oh, maybe I can find from this. Maybe I can find from that. Abdul, you are the one who chose Ibn Kathir, so it's you cannot say it is you it's who it's said sinless. it is you. Yes, he is sinless. Don't change the topic, woman. coward. This is Ibn Kathir in the front of you, and he says that Paul is the messenger of Jesus. Read it. Read it. I can't read it right now. Why you can't? It says the first two names of the messenger were Shamoon and Yohanna, which means Simon, Peter, and John. And the name of the third is Bolos. This is the name in Arabic. And the messengers they went sent to Antakya, in Turkey. So you, you Muslims, you call Paul names because you are a bunch of donkeys. When you're the scholars, they praise God, Paul and he say he is a messenger of Allah. And not only that. They claim that Paul is the most powerful messenger of the three sent by Allah. So you, you can just be a mistake. You need we to. Are, we, no, you are the one who know. said. You the are the one who said to me. You are we the one. Know. Shut up. You are the one. You are the one who said to me. Shut up. Shut up, donkey. You are the one who said to me. Show me Ibn Kathir. Shut up, you donkey, we, son of a muta. You see the coward? He said to me, "I believe in it. If you can find it in me, Ibn Kathir." I told him I cannot find it, so he got excited more. He said, yeah, I know only Ibn Kathir. Are you sure? Yes, only Ibn Kathir. And now we show it to him from Ibn Kathir. The donkey starts shouting because the devil is inside them. Do you see how we get them busted? You are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. Me, myself, I will never debate myself. Last time I debated myself in the bathroom, I was looking at the mirror. I, I lost. I will never debate myself. It's the biggest mistake ever. Show me Ibn Kathir. Okay, show me Ibn Kathir. Okay, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Garbage in, garbage out. Barbecue. I wonder how, I wonder why. I wonder, 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 wonder. wonder. And all of what I can see, a bunch of Abdul collapse around me. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all I can see, Muhammad false prophet around me. He is a big fat liar. We got him busted. And what he can do about it, he can do nothing. Quran, Allah, Akbar, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. This is a prophet of God. And the funny Muhammad, he said, there's no prophet between me and the Isa. So who are they those? Not only that, it says in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the Muslim books that those messengers, they resurrected people from the graves. They did what? They resurrected people from the graves. They have miracles. Don't call me your kid. We talk to men, not to children. Let your dad call me. I wonder how. I wonder why. And all what I can see. A bunch of donkeys around me. Ta 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 ta. See? 
Yeah, actually, one of you actually he sent me. Uh, uh, he sent me a message in Skype about Muhammad is stealing verses from Paul. But my friend, he did not steal verse from Paul only. He stole tons of verses from Paul, from John, from Luke, from Mark, uh, from the Old Testament. You know, yeah. He, you know, uh, uh, the the brother who sent me this message, he is saying that Muhammad he stole a message uh, or let's say verses from the Bible from First Corinthians chapter two, uh, verse number nine. And this is exactly really what it says in the Quran too. All right. But uh, let us not to burn our papers. Let us not to show everything we have to the Muslims. You see, the Muslims, because he is following satanic prophet, in order to get him busted, you need to let him, you need to trick him. If you show him that he is, you, if you tell him what you will say, if you know what exactly you will say next, he will, he, will, he will change the direction of the talk, and he will not say what he's just said. They are people who of dishonesty. I don't debate Muslims. You have to trick them because they are not people of honesty. When you debate somebody, like if I am assuming if I debate somebody is a Hindu, he will not lie about his religion, even though I don't believe in it. If I debate somebody is a Buddha, he will not lie about what he believes. But when you debate a Muslim, a Muslim in order to defend Islam, he do everything. And number one thing he do, he lie. Hello? So you are not driving now? <clears throat> no, I, I'm not. Okay, so driving. so why what you, what why, what, why you always what, of what what we were talking about? We were talking about that the prophecy fits on you. Mm. And I showed you your prophet. He said that the women, if she have a liquid in her vagina, that will make the baby resemble the parents. What do you say about that? Is is that a prophecy? Isn't it? That how come that be a prophecy? Okay, so if I prove to you that this is a prophecy, a prophecy, so okay, 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 okay. That's a medical thing, man. What's wrong? With okay, you? okay, my friend. If I show you that that's this a, is a prophecy, a prophecy. Okay, if I show you that this is a prophecy, what you do? What do you mean? If you show me a prophecy, but, uh, if I, I show you, you if I tomorrow. show you that this is a prophecy, you are saying to me how this is a prophecy. So if I show you that this is a prophecy, what, how, what, what you would do? I told you I'm not going to eat McDonald's tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, you are funny. I thought you say you will say I'm going I to drink camel urine tomorrow. Why McDonald? Why you don't? Why you don't follow Muhammad the Sunnah? What Sunnah is? The yeah. Sunnah is to to drink camel urine. Can what, you show me that? Is a what McDonald? I will show you. But here we go. This is nothing. Me, this I is. I challenge you if you show me that's a Sunnah. Are you sure? I'm sure, hundred percent. Show me if that is a Sunnah to drink camel urine. Okay. Yep. You are busted. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And this is the book you like. I will show it to you from the book you like. Which book? Yeah. You, which book? You know you like? nice, yeah? Which book you like? Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari? Look, which any, one you like? Uh, doesn't matter. If it could be Tirmidhi, any as long as it's authentic. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yep. The hate in the front of you. I want you to read it in the screen. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you show me the source? Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And well, the hadith says the climate of Medina did not suit some people. I know this hadith. This is not a sunnah. This is not a sunnah. So the Prophet he ordered people to drink camel urine. Not a sunnah. No, no. So no. Sunnah is. Listen, 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 listen. Hey, hey, my friend. Okay, not sunnah. Okay, 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 no, okay, no, okay, not sunnah. Let us not to change the topic. Anyway, so you, why your prophet? You order. Why, why you're a prophet? Why you're a prophet? He did not. He ordered them to drink the camel urine. Can I answer? Yeah. Can I? This is a special case of sick people. Ah. Sunnah means everybody everybody is obliged to follow. That is a sunnah. Mm. Sunnah you can't my friend, my friend, no one the, can in the hadith, in the hadith, it doesn't say anything about being sick. This is a stupid, it's a lie. It doesn't say that. Do you, do you see the he word did. sick what there? Do you see the people were ill? What? Wait, people were Ill. Where are they? Where it says they are ill. 
Okay, um, bring the hadith proper back because I can't see the whole. And let whole, us say, let, let us say they are ill. So how Muhammad he discovered that this is a medicine? This is from Allah or from him? Uh, don't change the topic here right now. Are we talking mm. about sunnah here? Mm. Sunnah means that every Muslim is obliged to follow the sunnah. All right. Either Muhammad. So if himself, Muhammad he order you in the case you are sick to drink kamar urine, that will make it sunnah. So in the case of you being sick, you drink kamar urine. You don't take antibiotics. If you are ill, yes. Okay, Look, so you Muslims. If I have so okay, so are you saying to me, you Muslims, when you get sick, do you go to the hospital or you go and buy camel urine? Okay, now you again, you confuse, you confuse like confused doctor. I'm not confused. You yeah. are the one who said to me they are sick. Okay, no problem, they are sick. So when you Muslims get sick, do you go by the advice of your prophet, where he said to you drink because he says he it's he ordered them. He ordered, he ordered them. He did not advise them. He ordered. It was an order. This is Sunnah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, those, those people who have these have a special stomach disease. They okay. Have. Okay. That's, that's what these people no. have. They have a special stomach disease. Okay. And do you know the, the whole hadith? Mm -hmm. They got cured. No problem. You, you, your prophet, he put, a, he put nails in their you, eyes, right? Hadith? He put nails in their eyes. You see? The medicine of Muhammad Hassan cured them. They got healthy. No, he did not kill them by by the medicine, my friend. <laughs> cured, cured them. Cured, not kill. Cured them. Ah, they cured got, them. Ah. <laughs> the, 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 the urine and milk they become healthy after. As, that as I know, true. as I know, they, he, as I know, he killed them. No, no, kill comes after, and I'll tell you why he killed them. Okay, you know why? How, how he killed them? Do you know? Okay. Do you agree the first points I make to you? No, I. They got. I, I, by drinking the I, urine no, I don't yes. agree. This is what the Muslims claim. How we know? So, uh, you're picking and choosing now. Well, I know. I'm not. I'm not choosing. I, I, here we go. I challenge you when you get sick. I challenge you when your son gets sick. You give him camel urine. You don't take him to doctor. So you are agreeing that he asked them to drink uh, camel urine and milk. You are agreeing that part, but you're not agreeing they got the heal. I don't agree about uh -huh. anything. I don't know if this story is true or not. This is your Muslim books. How oh, I have no idea. Maybe Why? maybe the whole story is a fabrication. Then. Maybe the whole. Do I, I don't agree about anything. The whole Quran. Do I agree with the Quran? If the Quran says something, no. I'm just showing you because we are laughing. It's stupid. Now let, let me. Here we go. Let us. Let's ask you. You know. Let's go back. Who Who is the one? Who is the one who said to Muhammad to drink camel urine? Who's the one who said to Muhammad? Yes. Where Where Muhammad he got his knowledge about camel urine? Is that from Allah? Well, of course, he is a messenger of God. Okay. And, uh, so, how come when I say to you that when when he said to the that the women she have a liquid, it's yellow, is going to resemble the the, the parents? You said to me, how you know that this is a prophecy? Uh, yes, exactly. How do you know that's a prophecy? A second that's, ago, that's... you just said to me that the camel urine, obviously from Allah, so it's a prophecy. Who is the one who prophesied to him that this is a medicine? Who is the one okay, who prophesied? So who is the one okay, who told let's... Muhammad that the, the, the yellow liquid in the vagina will make the baby look like the mother? Muhammad, his own, or Allah told him? So you're saying everything comes from Allah is a prophecy? I am not, uh, yes, anything which for sure, because anything we do not know is from is a prophecy. Is a prophecy. Yes, which is if, the meaning talking if, about. Okay, okay, let, let, me, let me show you that this is a prophecy. But if I show you, are you willing to admit that you are a donkey? Uh, you want me to sound like one? No, sure, absolutely. Why not? Here we go. As long as you agree, let us go for it. Here we go. This is the hate in front of you. You agree to sound like a donkey if I show you that. A Jew came to him and he said to Muhammad, I will ask you three questions. Nobody knows save a prophet of God. Uh, prophet of God. It lasts long they want, no one, no one, no one knows those answers except a prophet of God. Okay. And he said to him, yeah, <clears throat> I'm listening. Uh, what consists uh, the the Jews said? What would consist their breakfast when they enter paradise? The holy prophet replied, "A call of the fish liver." He, the Jews said, "What would be the the food later? This after after this." He, he, the holy prophet said, "A block." Which which was fed in different quarter of paradise, and he would be slaughtered for them. Then the Jew he said, "What they would drink?" The Holy Prophet he said, "They would be given a drink from the fountain which named Salsabil. This is a magical drink. When you drink from it, you become youth. 
a Jew he said how and I come to ask you about thing which no one among the people in earth knows except Apostle except what a prophet that's it it's prophecy the one or, or or one or two men beside him this is additional to the translation by the way and then he said he the Holy Prophet said would it would it benefit you if I tell you that the Jew he said I would I would lend my ear and then he said I would uh, I have come to ask you about the child he the Holy Prophet said that the man protective is white and the women protective is thin and yellow and when they have sexual intercourse and the man come first the baby will be a boy and the women come first the baby will be a girl and this is the degree of Allah and he called the Quran now is that a yeah. prophecy is there a prophecy no it's not a prophecy no because these these things already exist if we believe there are children born from men and women, mm -hmm. this these things are already being happening. So prophecy is something which doesn't happen before; it's going to happen in the future. Mm -hmm. So this is not a prophecy. This is we are living in the time people are getting born, getting mm -hmm. pregnant. So this is not a prophecy. This is just a medical information. It's not a prophecy. Mm -hmm. What if I show you that Muhammad? He said that the one who told him now that is Jibril. What you will do? Jibril is giving him information. Yeah, it is Jibril Some who told him. Something, something already exists is not giving him that's going to happen in the future which never happened before so this is a prophecy no my friend you prophecy no prophecy so no prophecy is, is 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 something only god knows and nobody knows the quran says stop lying nobody knows what is in the in the womb except allah so this is nobody knows how the baby will be male or female except allah and now muhammad he is explaining to you based in what he received from Jibreel and he told him Jibreel now just told me Jibreel now just told me I just received this from Jibreel this is a prophecy so now Muhammad when he said that did he say something truthful or he got himself busted okay if I if I tell you something about the how how you see do you see your prophet saying I, that I, I, I want you to read for me first did you see it says Jibreel has just now informed me do you see it informed about what the question about the, the question the about the question he said to him, yes. he said to him I will ask you questions. I will ask you questions nobody knows except the prophet of Allah okay then all which only prophet can answer do you see it when is the first sign of the hour what is the first people will eat in paradise and what does uh, uh, attract the similarity to the father or the mother which means the look or the gender then muhammad he said he replied jibreel has just now informed me mm -hmm. of the answers yes so this is coming yeah. from allah jibreel have knowledge from who from allah right yeah, of course. Okay, so yes, Allah He sent Jibreel. Allah He sent Jibreel to give support to Muhammad and to tell him the answer. This is cheating. So now, Allah no, gave the answer to Muhammad. So now, how you say to me this is not a prophecy? Muhammad he prophesy, and the and the guy he said, prophecy is not about something will happen in the future. It's something nobody knows. It's unseen. So how this guy he said Jibreel just told me, and how this guy he claimed that only Allah know this, and how this guy he said such a thing, and you say to me this is not a prophecy. Can I say something now? Hmm. Does it say uh, here I, only prophet know it? Only prophet? I, you have to let me explain what I'm trying to say. Hmm. Right or wrong, let me explain. Then you can bust me if you want to. Yeah. Hmm. First of all, uh, this whole hadith, I can even, um, I can even, uh, I, I can assure you this is nothing wrong in it. I will explain that to you as well. Hmm. Let's not waste our time that it's a prophecy or not prophecy. Hmm. Let's say for the sake of argument, it's a prophecy. Even though I disagree with you, the last bit is not a prophecy. That's a medical information. The first two are prophecies. What you can have in the paradise, what drink you're going to have, that's a prophecy, yes. But the last bit is already exists. These things already happening. Children. Let's say for the sake of argument, it's prophecy. I, you, I think I'm giving you an impression that I, I can't back it up. I think I'm giving you an expression that is false. It's not. I can even even prove that is true. What he said is true. That is true. How? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Can you uh, bring that part up? Uh, because I'm reading, I'm seeing your screen. I can't see the last bit. Okay. Can you can you put the last bit again? Let us see. Yeah. 
And I'm, I, uh, 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 let's say, I disagree go. with you, it's not possible, as, but I'm going as for to, the I'm child, to prove this right. If the child, uh, as for the child, if the man discharged proceed the women, the charge, the child attract the samadhi of the man. And if the women mm -hmm. discharge proceed the man, then the child attract the samadhi of the, the woman. It's a Muslim translation. In Arabic, it says actually more, uh, more clear than this. It says if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the man, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. So now, what do you say? So if a uh, sorry, if a man have orgasm first, yes, the baby be will be either. will be a boy. And let me show you more hadith too to confirm that. So uh -huh. you don't see. Is the same hadith similar similar thing? It's the same, same the, the same. same. It's the same. It's the same. And this is sahih. And this is sahih. This is sahih. Here yes. we go. This is about who is coming first. Do you see it? It's about who comes first. As simple as that. This is sahih. And it's then, a little delay, but it's coming up. It's a little delay. Can you? Is a thick white and okay. The Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said yes. Hmm. It's a sahih. Yeah. Okay. The Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the hmm. man's water is thick and white. Hmm. And the woman's water is thin and yellow. Hmm. Whichever of of them comes first, the child will resemble. Hmm. No, this is talking about resembles, not the gender. The, the resemble yes. is about gender, my friend. The, the other hadith complete this one. They are the same story. Anyway, 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 let us go. Let us go. Let's go with resemble. Let's go. With, don't change topic. Let us say, okay. Do you really believe in this garbage that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will look like the women? If the men have orgasm first, the baby will look like the man? Are we talking about the previous hadith or we're this, talking about hadith? both? It's the same story. I'm just showing you both because the both is confirming the same story. Whoever comes first, and the other one it says the same, and the other one it says the same. Whoever comes first, this is about whoever comes first. So you're a prophet saying, claiming that Jibreel okay. told him that Jibreel told him okay, let's, that let's say, let's say both are same. Say if the man comes first, it's going to be a boy, mm. if the woman comes first, it's going to be a girl. Mm. Yeah, mm. okay, mm. all right now. What my understanding of uh, science is, uh, how it takes, because last time we talked about it and I looked into it. Mm. Now the man have chromosome X and Y. This is about yes. chromosome, about who come first, my friend. What chromosome? Do you see chromosome there? Be Can honest, me make be honest with me, be honest with me. Come on, don't be garbage. What is the chromosome? What the chromosome, man? Whoever comes first. I'm not saying it's there. I'm saying why it takes place, why this happens, why this happens. <laughs> you, you, whoever you comes first, whoever comes up. first, what a chromosome, what a chromosome, buddy. Whoever comes first, yeah. I'm going to explain that to you. If you explain, I'm listening. Go ahead. But you're not listening. You you're not letting me speak, man. Come Don't on. add things. It's not there. Don't fabricate things. Shame I on you. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Prophet said that about the chromosome. I am telling you. It says it. No, I know how the baby is made. You know, Jibril told me tell too. Me, tell me. Jibril, tell me how Jibril the, told me. How, why? Why sometimes is a boy? Why sometimes is a girl? Uh, I will tell you why. According to us in the Middle East, if you go in the bus and the bus is so busy, if the driver he hit the brake fast and then you have a woman in the front of you, she will deliver a boy. If the woman okay. she is behind you, she will deliver a girl, according to Jibreel. But this is uh, this is my Jibreel now. Now give me the answer. Stop playing games. I, look, if I'm if you don't let me speak, then I got, I can't give you. No, 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 I'm letting you speak. Give me the answer. Okay, I'm giving you the answer. You then you tell me where I made it wrong, where I made a mistake. Let me finish my answer. Okay. <laughs> now we, we we know science tells us when the boy at uh, the the chromosomes of X and Y mix up and it's a boy okay <laughs> but when x and x that's a girl. yeah now <laughs> what x and x what a chromosome your prophet saying whoever comes first my friend stop playing games whoever comes first I, I don't think you'll give me a chance. I think you just make what, it what chromosome whoever of them comes I, first. I have to explain to you how I understand this. Uh, his, uh, his explanation. explain to me what the hadith is saying. He says comes first, he didn't say chromosome. The I tell you, and my friend, he said, my friend, he said the word of the women is thin and yellow. He's speaking about women liquid, a sexual liquid, not the egg. Not, not, not the X and Y. 
because the X and Y is not the water in the vagina. What the water in the vagina have to, with the X and Y, my friend? I don't think you're going to give me a chance. No, I am giving you, but you are trying to run away. You, you actually are trying to make me hang up on you. You are trying to do that because this is the only way to escape. Your prophet is getting busted. He cannot be a prophet. Your prophet is a scam. Uh, uh, what is the liquid? This is the liquid of the man. The liquid of the man is thick and, and white. This is the, the cum of the man. And what is the liquid for the women? Is thick and, and yellow. And the woman, she is asking him, to, she wash her vagina? She, he said, yes, if she sees that. If she see it, it is something you see. It is our. It is not ex internal. It is external. It's outside. So if she see, if she see that, she have to wash. And Muhammad he claimed that the liquid you see in your vagina, you see, not something you don't see. Something outside. Okay. So that if that if you see that if you see that will make you resemble the child. Do you see it? This is the Hadith Sahih Bukhari too. The woman she came to Muhammad and he gave the same explanation. Yes, if she noticed the water, i.e., this is charge. If she noticed the water, i.e., this charge, this is not something inside the woman. The egg is inside the woman. The woman she never see the egg. She will never see it. So yes, if she noticed that, if she see e the water, i.e., the discharge. Um Musanama smiled and she said, Does a woman even have this charge? Because Muhammad he never had, he made his wife have this charge. So Allah also said, Yes, then why does the child resemble his mother? So um, your prophet claimed that, that this is charge, which is the liquid which the woman she see in her vagina, not the egg. So there's no eggs, there's no why. Stop playing games. You keep repeating yourself, and I'm not going to go anywhere. It's you are the one who's going to switch me off. I'm not going to because no, I'm ready to give you answer, but you, you don't you, want to hit you. Know, you don't have an answer. Stop talking about X and Y. I it's a lie. Chance. You're not even giving me a chance. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. I have the chance. I have the answer. Okay. Mm, okay. If you can disagree with me, that's fine. But only give me a, like a minute or two to explain okay, what I'm no trying problem. to say. No problem. The Prophet <laughs> says, if the man discharge first, it's going to be a boy. Mm. If the woman discharge first, it's mm. going to be the girl. Mm. So how that happens? Mm -hmm. We analyze. We analyze what happened here now. The woman, if if the woman discharge first, yes, woman has in her uh, thing X chromosome in her egg, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Women, she have X. Uh, why? <laughs> Go change your diaper. Everybody can smell it, my friend. Uh, the smell is all over. The poop is all over. I mean, how stupid, how silly are you? Trying to defend the stupidity of your prophet. Unbelievable. X and Y. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Although we have a Muslim here, he's trying to call. He's desperate to call me. Hold on, hold on. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Yes, Abdul, how are you? Would you like to talk about the Bible or are you going to run like a coward? Well, I like to run like a coward because we have a topic now. Do you want to talk about the Bible? So why you don't want to talk about your prophet saying that the woman, if she have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Are you ashamed of your prophet? Why, 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 why do you run from the Bible? And my friend, because the topic is not about the Bible now. We are speaking about a topic. Do you have a head title? Do you see I, prophet I with false prophecy? With uh, Islam, huh? Can you defend Christianity? I do not defending? need. I do not need to defend. I do not. Uh, you, you, you are going okay. to do the job for me, and you will see how. Now, can you answer this, and we go to the Bible? No problem. All right. What's the question? Hmm. You, you are asking me what the question? I'm talking about it for the last twenty minutes, thirty minutes, and you ask me this question. Go watch and call me after you see it. Go ahead. Let's see the second Abdul. This guy, he's saying he's a Muslim, he can explain. Oh, okay, all right. 
Öf. Abdullah is sending me debate. Uh, sending me videos of uh, uh, the potato, the first potato. He's sending me yeah. videos of Zakir Naik. <laughs> Guys, they are Zakir Naik. Why a Muslim woman she cannot be a, a, a there's why in Islam there's no Muslim woman she is a prophet. Zakir Naik he said. The titter at Kikotin, and it's very limited. And I have to say, and I have to agree. In Islam, we don't have a woman, she's a prophet. And there is a very legitimate reason. Other example, if a woman she became a prophet, she has to read the congregation. If she read the congregation, she has to bend over. If they bend over, the Muslim they will disturb and they will not pray for Allah. Thank you very much. What the heck? If a woman in Islam she became a prophet, she has to lead the congregation. If she do that, do that, she have to bend over, and if she bend over, all the Muslim will look at her ass. And the Muslim like, hey, Allahu Akbar, amazing answer. What an answer, you idiot! You just said that Muslims they will forget about Allah if they see an ass, an ass of a woman. And this is the reason not to have a woman as a prophet. And you Muslim, you clap, Allah, hey, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. A donkey teaching donkeys. Well, there is no surprise if this is what the prophet he is saying there. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If the men have orgasm first, will be a boy. By the way, if I get married, I will never have orgasm first. I don't want my son to look like me. That's disgusting. <laughs> good news, good news. I was really worried. I was really, really worried that I will get married and my son will look like me. But now we found a solution, brother. All what we need to do, I will not come first. And that will guarantee that uh, my children will look like my beautiful wife. <laughs> True story. By, by the way, uh, brother and sister, don't forget to subscribe. If you are a Muslim, subscribe and unsubscribe because if you do that, Allah will give you extra deed as Allah he said in the Quran. <laughs> Have you ever heard of such a crazy religion? He said to them that if you do good deeds, it's going to double the, the, the bad deed, which means it's going to erase one deed and give you double. So now subscribe to me, brother, Muslims, and then unsubscribe because that will give you double recredit in Allah. I mean, how this funny is this? <laughs> Unbelievable. Christian Prince is very handsome. My friend, those who, who lie, they go to hellfire. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. He's lying, he's lying. He said the Christian prince is, is handsome. This, this is a big fat lie. <laughs> Don't tell me you are a prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Don't do that. Anyway, do we have any Abdul? Who's next? Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? If you like, uh, if you like our what we do, uh, don't forget to subscribe and to share our videos and download them all my videos are for free i don't care you know i get happy when i see people downloading the videos i'm not like others who if you download the video get upset and even they flag you i don't do that i am here to serve not to be served and my videos is not made for me i'm sick of this stupid cult i know it all every millimeter in my brain is full of information about it this is the garbage of the garbage. So I'm not wasting my time here for my friend. I'm here teaching you, showing you, saving your kids from the lies of Islam. So they will not be fooled and convert to Islam. Saving your family, saving your wife, saving your children, saving everybody around you. In order to accomplish something important, we have to work together. I did my part. So please do your part. Download the video, share it with your friends. Yes, it's funny. Yes, it's a comedy, but this is not the purpose. The purpose is to educate you. And the smart teacher is the one who made nobody in the class getting bored. You will never be bored in my class. And the guy who is saying to me that a Christian prince come together for a gay baby, 
You remind me of your prophet putting uh, eyeliner three times a day, gay baby. <laughs> 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 A prophet who do hold on hold on please come on show respect show respect a prophet you know you ask the Muslims why the prophet he have sex with a child they say in the old days women they used to be mature very fa <laughs> very fast <laughs> okay okay the women they used to be mature very fast okay let it go let it go okay the prophet was kissing a man down his belly. Is that because the man was mature very fast too? Mm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I wonder how. I wonder why. You told me about the blue blue sky and oh and by the way even the blue sky in the Quran Do you, anyone knows why the blue sky is a blue according to Islam who knows who knows who remember why the sky is a blue according to Allah teaching who remember the one who remember I will give him a free ticket one way to Afghanistan because of a blue mountain thank you very much absolutely I mean, this guy Muhammad is so clever, man. He know all. He know everything. It's a mountain surrounding the earth from every direction. It's called Qaf. Qaf, brother. Mountain Qaf is very well known mountain, but we cannot see it because it's a blue. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, blue, blue mountain surrounding the earth from all direction. And this is where the sky is coming from. I mean, that is something. Ah. <laughs> what? Uh, let it go. Let it go. <clears throat> well, this is verse number one. We need verse one, number one. What? This is verse number 43. And I'm clicking for nothing. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this. And from his narration, or oh, let me read it as Muslims, Muslim, they read it with echo to make it holy. And from his narration, 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 and the authority, authority, authority of Ibn Abbas, Bas, 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 that he said in the interpretation, teaching, teaching that Allah saying, cough, 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 cough. He says, 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 it is an azure mountain, 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 overlooking this world, this world. And the color of the sky, the sky, the sky takes from it, from it, from it. Allah swore by it, by it, by it. Takbir, 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 takbir. This is astonishing, astonishing, astonishing. I cannot hold myself, self, self, self from dying, 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 from laughing, laughing, laughing. Must be true, true, true. <laughs> Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy. No, oh, mommy, mommy. So now we know why the sky is blue. I was wondering, maybe because of my socks. Because my socks is blue. Maybe because I mix my socks with the blue sheet. Maybe. It cannot be. Because how the sky will be mixed with my socks? And then I come to the knowledge of Allah, and Allah knows best. Allah, He told us the story. Who knows better than Allah? Let us face it together. You can run away for a day, for two, for three, from your mother-in-law. But you cannot run away from Allah. Now be honest with you. If there is any show in the cable better than our show, <laughs> they charge you money, 
they ask you to pay for it and you sign bills and contract and cable guy come and blah 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 there here we go what do you want better than this all of you today you will sleep healthy and you will sleep good because you love very much my friend the glory to the Lord the Messiah we are making fun of the devil exposing him in the same time we are glorifying his name there's no name under heaven better than his name he is the Lord and his name is the truth and the truth will set you free when you make a lie you have to create a thousand lie to cover the first lie and this is why it's very easy to expose such a stupid cult but first you have to earn knowledge and this is why the Lord he said read the books my friends read the books my nation being destroyed because of their ignorance not because of their knowledge let us fight ignorance expose ignorance stand against ignorance I don't hate Muslims in fact I love to save them and to bring them to the truth which means to set them free from such a cult and I pray that all the Muslim they will see the truth and they will become a loving nation loving people who come to the Messiah believe in him and save themselves and their soul and save their neighbors from any violence and hatred let us stand against hatred and violence for it's coming from the devil the father of all lies is the devil and if Muhammad is proven today to be of a liar, that's mean his father is the devil. He is a person who claimed to be a prophet. He knew he knew he's not. He knew he's lying. There's no way he do not know. He is of his father. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you again, please subscribe, invite your friends. And if you like to read more, to learn more, you can get my books from Amazon. In case you like to have reference handy in your hands and this christian prince with you wish you the best christ is lord islam is false i mean to that and see you soon again bye bye